Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear, and please share the link with your friends, and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish. It takes a few time or a few minutes before, maybe 20 minutes before the video is processed by YouTube, depending on the length of the video. Today, our topic is about how Islam can lead you to believe that Jesus is God. Uh, before we start, you know, I would like uh, uh, to ask people not to send me silly emails in Patreon or different place about uh, uh, losing my patient and schooling me about how not to lose my temper. I mean, come and sit in my place and let us see how good you are. Uh, people, they are so good at making speeches. I stay here for many hours, you know. I'm here, I'm like I'm struggling to explain an idea, and then one of you, he sent me an email schooling me about not to lose your temper. Please give me a break. And what temper? I speak to people for hours and hours and hours. Try to do it yourself. And um, that person mentioned something which is very, I find it very silly. Uh, there's, a, if somebody love you, he will stay away from you. And she meant, I think, women. I'm not here for dating. Anyone he send me such an email, I will block you immediately. This is a warning for anyone who will send me such a stupid message. I'm here for a message and a, mis and a mission. I'm not uh, looking for your love. So people, are, I don't know, I don't know what's saying. Sometimes people are silly. Like I'm here for a reason and they are for a different reason. Whoever those people are, you don't belong here. Go. We are here to speak about the truth. This is not about me. So, I have to say that because I receive from time to time very silly emails and uh, uh, from very silly people. And I'm not, uh, you know, um, if you think I'm rude, this is who I am. Don't listen to me. Just go. Take your taxi, bus, just go. I mean, I'm rude, but I can do. <laughs> what do you want me to say to you? I want me to take the microphone and saying to you, uh, do you love me? Do you, do you? I'm here to teach. And the second you start speaking about serious subject, serious words will come. The Lord, the Messiah himself, he entered the temple and he flipped the tables on those people who they are making just the yard, not inside the temple, in the yard. They made my father a house of bazaar of market. I did not flip tables. And because we have jealousy for the Lord, we are passionate. This is not, this is not a rude. This is passionate. We are warriors. There's a huge difference. You relax, go. Go in the beach and really down and put some cream and have fun. Leave. Leave to us what is to us. Uh, now, the Muslims, they have thousands of articles. Actually, I saw, I was searching in Google before I start, you know, Prophet Google, peace upon him. And I found this uh, website here. This Muslim guy, he made a book, it's called, uh, and I find the name very funny, uh, 99 Reason Why Jesus Is Not God. The guy, he, he stopped with the 99. Like, you could not find one more to make it 100. That's it, 99. Allah have 99 names, Muhammad have 99 names, and Jesus have 99 reasons not to be God. I'm going to tell you 99 reasons why Jesus cannot be God. Sheikh Ahmad, Muhammad, Awal. For for the sake of whoever, the shin of Allah, can't you find us one more reason to make it one hundred? I mean, come on. Like, what are you doing? Like, what they do in the sales? They say to you, like, this is nine nine and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents to make us believe it's not one hundred. Now, come on, man. Obviously, this is you are making things up. Now, I found a website. Actually, I you know we showed it before. This guy here, supposedly he is a Muslim convert. I feel sorry for him. He will leave Islam sooner or later. 
And this guy, he uh, they they have a in the Dean show, they have an interview says, um, ten reasons Jesus cannot be God. Okay, what is the first reason? God cannot be born. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. God cannot be born. First of all, when we Christian, they say Jesus is born. And shouldn't we say as Muslims, if we are Muslims, man cannot be born without father too? Like, are you speaking about the law of nature or the law of God, which you create by your own? You are the one who decide to God what he can be, what he cannot. How come, and as I know, man cannot be born without a father. So he cannot be God because he is born. But you cannot explain to us why he is born, but yet he have no father. What is the origin of this born or this birth? Where this birth is coming from? Isn't it the Quran in chapter 20, 25 verse 52? It says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ وَصِحْرَى Which means we made it from water by, by, uh, by sexual relationship, by marriage, etc. Relationship. Every human being after Adam. And Jesus came after Adam supposedly according to Quran so this is a very false stupid argument because if God cannot be born well God cannot be God I will explain it very simple the second you say to God you cannot it's the same second you say to him you cannot be God guys do you see the word cannot do you see it or I'm, I am the one who is making it there this is their title right cannot okay so why you call God Almighty you just said he cannot. Do you see the contradiction and, the, and, and, and how silly the argument? Because either God he can, and we call him almighty, because he can. Why do we call him almighty? Which Because he have the might to do things. So the second you say God cannot be born, you just confirm that your God, Muslim God, is not God. Because our God can be born, your God cannot. Are we listening? Are we listening, people? You see how simple to 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 destroy their logic. Their, their logic is silly. It's just it's like, it's like somebody he ate too much beans and he have gas. And then he says here, there is no even if uh, 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 enough evidence of text, uh, uh, textual evidence. What does that mean? So I'm going to use the Quran to show you the evidence that Jesus is God from the Quran. I mean, we have hundreds of verses. By the way, the Quran, all of it, is not even the index of the Bible. Do you know that, right? The Quran is a little tiny, small book. They make the, the word big in Arabic to make it big in pages. But the fact, the Quran, you can print it all in like 40 pages. It's not even the index of the Bible. So in, in this a huge book, you could not find any evidence that the Bible says that Jesus is God. <laughs> that is really funny. I mean, you should go to the circus, man. Actually, the Bible not only says that Jesus is God, Jesus, he confirmed by himself that he is the one who will be the judge in the judgment day and nobody else. You can go to uh, uh, book of John, you know, chapter 5. The father, he don't judge the son. That's what Jesus said. And not only that, I will show you where your prophet, he says, that the Messiah will come down in the earth, hakaman muqsitan which mean absolute just and justice let us continue with those we will go we will go over the Quran but I'm just I'm going to review those reasoning so we can laugh together before we start this is like hello we are not starting yet then he says no one has seen God <laughs> <laughs> I 
you know, sometimes like Islam make me angry and is uh, you know like, but Islam make me laugh very, from my heart honestly. No one seen God, brother. No one see God. Okay, so, oh, but we saw Jesus, uh, but we did not see God. Mm. Well, let me. I'm I'm going to go back to this because as I know, uh, your prophet he did not see God. <laughs> <laughs> but he saw something else. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, when the Muslim they they come with logic saying no one seeing God, no one seeing God as He is, because His glory is more than what we can handle our eyes you know you look at the sun and it's just a planet like a star created by god if you look at the sun and the sun is far away for like a few seconds you will go blind you cannot see no more so imagine the glory of the lord compared to the sun so no one seeing god as he is which means with his glory this is why we christians the bible says that God he humbled himself and he came in the image of a man he came to us in the flesh of a man and the Bible says that the Messiah is the visible image of the invisible God he is the visible image of the invisible God so your logic is very silly but we would debunk that one still from Islamic resource or source if we can call it source I don't know what they call it uh, always when Muslims they make their logic the logic is just to fit propaganda it's not because it's a logic Muslim Islam have no logic it, it, just to make it simple uh, when a Muslim he speak to you to debate you about anything have you ever seen a Muslim Making fun of Christians believing that Mary she was a virgin when she gave birth to Jesus. No. Okay, why? It's simple, not because it's logical. It's just because the Quran says so. As long as the Quran says so, no Muslim he will make fun of it. Otherwise, imagine if the Quran never say that Mary she gave birth and she is a virgin. The Muslims will be laughing at you, making fun of you, they, and they will add this as a one reason to make fun of you. But now this reason is no Muslim dare to say this is not a true, just because it's in the Quran. So it's not because what is logical. Is it logical that there's a person who is born thousand of years after Adam, but he is or he have no father and his mother is a virgin? Is that logical? As long you are saying about what he can, what he cannot. As I know, you cannot be born of a virgin. As I know, you cannot be born without a father. As I know, you cannot be born without a sperm of a man and an egg of a woman. So what the Muslims do when they want, you can. And when you want, they want, you cannot. That is hypocrisy. That is hypocrisy. Because if you want to practice a rule, this rule should apply on you too, not on the others only. We continue. There was the, the, this is, was not the belief of the early Christian. That is very silly. We have the early Christians, and you know, like who, like a, a Paul is not from the early Christian. John is not from the early Christian. Mark, Luke, that is very silly and stupid. We have the four Gospels, and this is the early Christians. So this is a very false argument. Jesus ate and slept and prayed. 
You see, when uh, when somebody says to me that God, how God he eat, why he eat, you know, Jesus, he came in the flesh. He came in the, as a perfect man, and I will show it from the, the Muslims. Let's go first to the Quran here. And this is something the Muslim, he, they learn from the Quran. The Quran have the same silly argument. And the Quran teach that the Christians believe that Jesus and Mary are the Trinity and Allah. Because obviously the one who made the Quran is, is not educated. He did not know really uh, what he is talking about. In chapter 5, verse number 75, look what the Quran is saying. The Messiah, Isa, there is no Jesus in the Quran. Just take a note. This is a translation which is false. The son of Mary was no more than a messenger. Many were messengers that passed before him. This is a false translation. It doesn't say many. It says all messengers before him, they pass away. His mother, hmm, and between two, two bracket Mary, it doesn't say Mary. This is why it's between two bracket. Was a righteous uh, woman. This is what Sadiq. I mean, this is silly translation. Can you, so why you put Sadiq? I mean, how how it is a translation and you use an Arabic word there? <laughs> they just let it go. And then, uh, and it doesn't say they believe in the word of Allah. This is all. Let me change the translation. I mean, I don't know who is this translator. This guy he ate too much beans. Let us see mm, different one. I'm not going to keep like correcting every two seconds. All right. You see how the how the word change where she believe in whatever what is that? Yeah. Okay. So the messenger is that here the guy the guy here he lie again he says many where messenger pass away it doesn't say such a thing it says all messengers before him they pass away. And his mother was a woman of a truth. We will let it go. Both they ate their food. What? Both they ate their food. You will notice here, Muhammad is inserting the name of Mary next to Jesus because the Quran, and the author of the Quran, is made by a silly, ignorant person who do not know that Mary is not part of the Trinity. This is why in different verse in the Quran, Allah, he says, supposedly, uh, uh, you know, did you say to your people uh, to worship me and my mother instead of uh, uh, Allah? Did you say that? Jesus, he says to him, supposedly, <laughs> if I say that, you should know. <laughs> Oh boy. So a very funny and very silly argument. If we go in the Quran and check the verses, we will find that you know there is a there is a lot of uh, uh, flight of thoughts. Like look here, this is the chapter of five, chapter five. And this is the chapter of the way Jesus he did feed supposedly thousands of people and Allah he sent seven wheels in seven sandwiches which is a hilarious story because we don't know where, where they come with the story and the funny the Muslim that says we want to prove we want reference uh, show us the manuscript yeah, what is the manuscript of the uh, of, of the seven wheels what is the manuscript you Muslims have about this and look here in verse number 73 it says they do blasphemy who says Allah is one of the three. First, the Christian don't believe in Allah. Secondly, what do you mean one of the three? If we go in the Quran, you will see how the Quran contradict itself because it's made by a person who is very ignorant. The Quran says that the Christians they say that the Messiah is Allah. So where is the Trinity?
chapter 5, verse number 17. It's blasphemy indeed are those who say that Allah is a Christ. Okay, hold on. Is Allah is a Christ or Allah is one of the three and one of them is a Christ? Do you guys notice what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Who don't understand what I'm saying? You see the stupidity? Because in one verse he said that the Christian believed that Allah is one of the three. And who are the three? Mary, Isa, and Allah. But the same chapter, the same chapter, verse number 17, it says, it's a blasphemy indeed those who say that Allah is the Christ. Because if Allah is the Christ, that means there's no trinity. <clears throat> Correct? So how, how the Quran says such as silly stuff? Obviously, the one who is speaking there, he have no idea what he's talking about. Either the Christian believe in three persons, and one of them is Allah, as you claim, or the Christian, they believe that the Messiah is the same person as Allah. And here, right away, you will notice, I, I like this guy who made this... Uh, a drawing hold on maybe I can put it in the screen I don't know if it's going to appear there's one of you made drawing but I don't think it appear in the yeah this here we go uh, mr. Salim he made those uh, I don't know if you see those uh, things rounding like up and down and do you see them the signs next to before he left I mean this is exactly what's happening Allah is up Allah is down Allah flipping Allah playing gymnastic Allah, he have no idea what he's saying. So Muslims who they are listening, is, is Allah, according to the Christians, he is the Messiah or he is the second and there is third person? Who is the Muslim one answer? Hmm? And how in the world you have a God and you claim that he is God, but yet he do not know what the Christian Trinity is. To the point he think in the same chapter I mean we stuck in the same chapter that's it chapter 5 verse 116 Allah said to Isa oh Isa did you say to the men worship me and my mother what huh so Muslim they might say to you or oh, the Catholic that's a lie the Catholic don't worship Mary and some naive Christian, they say to you, well, the Catholic, they pray to Mary. No, the Catholic, they pray to Mary to pray for them. They don't pray to her. I can say to you now, I pray that you pray for me. Pray, the word of prayer, have a, have a, a two meaning. A request from the divine, communication, or even I can ask somebody, like the, the word pray appear in the Bible in many places, not necessarily always praying to God. Like I pray, you will be succeed. So like I, I really want you to be succeed. So here you will see, Allah he is saying something we cannot find in Christianity. We have three major, let us say, uh, 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 schools. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. None of them worship Mary. And none of them believe that Mary is divine. But Allah in the Quran, he have a different theory of the Trinity. That there is God, his name is Allah. And there is a God, his name is Isa. And there is a God, his, her name is Mary. How that happened? 
if the Quran is speaking about certain sect which was false Christians, that means the Quran is a stupid book because you don't call the Christian saying that. And you don't call them Christians or you don't call them Nasara as the Quran calling them, which is a very funny name. Nasara, what Nasara? I am an Arab Christian. We never heard of the word Nasara except from Islam. The same as we never heard of the word Isa except from Islam. Who is Isa? Me as an Arab Christian, we say Yeshua. Hebrew, they say Yeshua. Where is Isa coming from? Nobody knows. So as you see here, the God of Islam himself is the founder of confusion for he himself is confused. So how you can debunk us about who is Jesus if Allah himself could not find who is Jesus? Once he said that the Trinity in the, in the, for the Christian is Allah and Mary and Isa. And one he say that the, there's no Trinity in Christians, Christianity because the Christian they believe that the Messiah is Allah. This is what it says in the front of you. Is Allah is one of the three according to the Christians? Or the Messiah is Allah according to the Christians? Any Muslim have an answer? Because there's a huge difference. And actually, actually, based on this, Allah cannot be God. Because what kind of God? He do not know how to understand what the Christians believe. Have you ever heard of a God? He is ignorant. Somebody said, the Trinity is made by the church nowhere to be found in the Bible. That's because you are, you know, you, you, I don't know what food you are eating, but maybe uh, the food is affecting your brain. If you open the book of Genesis right away from the first verse, second verse, third verse, you will see that God, he created the world and his spirit was above the water. Is what? His spirit. From the first two verses. So the Bible confirmed from the first two verses that there's God and there's his spirit. Well, we cannot find anywhere in the Bible where it says the Trinity. This is from the Old Testament. This is from the Old Testament. Not from the New Testament. So it's you know it's a silly statement that says brother that says that says they created the Trinity that says what a church. Somebody saying a Christianity is cancer. Why are we the one is slaughtering in the name of Jesus takbir? Christians they go. Number one donors for a charity in the world are the Christians. Actually, the Red Cross is started and established by Christians. Millions of Muslims are being fed by Christians. While you Muslims now slaughtering each other in the north of Syria, the Christians is the only organization sending donations, even though it's not for Christians. Anyway, we go back to the topic. You can say whatever you want. We are laughing. So here we notice that the Muslims who they are talking about Jesus, they do not know yet who is Jesus. Allah himself is confused. So what about the followers? And when I say Allah, I mean Muhammad because there's no Allah. This is a guy, his name is Muhammad. And just to show you how silly the author of the Quran is, let's read the verse after it. You will die laughing. The Jews and the Christian, they say, we are the sons of Allah. Do you see it? Hey Muslim, do you see it? What the Jews and the Christian they say you just you accuse the Christians saying that you Christians you created this thing the son of God you know of children of God the Jews and the Christians they say we are the sons of God here Allah he insert himself Muhammad he, he replaced the word uh, God with Allah because this is his God the moon God and look at the logic he says well if Allah is your father how come he is, uh, you know, punishing you? What? What, what?
Do you see what? Do you see how silly this argument? What do you mean, Parshas? Okay, I will use the same logic of Allah. If Allah is your God, why you have disasters in all Islamic countries, and why Muslims are crossing the seas to come to Europe? Is Allah punishing you because He don't love you? You see how silly this uh, argument. The Christians. We have a better life, even in the Middle East. You see, in the Middle East where I live, a street where it is occupied by Christians, it is a clean, it is unique, it is beautiful. You move, you move just a one kilometer away, go an Islamic area, and you will see what you will see. You will not believe it. It's like two different countries. So what are you talking about? Shall we compare between the Jews? What they have and the, what the Muslims they have? If this is the if this is the scale that a uh, God he is punishing you, I don't see the Jews even punished. I see the Jewish after all what happened to them, they are successful. Actually, one of the reasons the Jews they've been attacked because they are successful. Always when you are a minority. And you are successful the eyes and no like this guy is a stranger this guy is a foreigner this guy is a is a jew like we are the major they say a majority we are here like city and we are christians so there's a jewish guy but he is successful so what we could not find a weakness about him he's a jew that is evil the evil of me because my jealousy is killing me how this guy he became successful and i am not so in order to put him down i have to find a reason and i say he's a jew that is evil the way of thinking but the fact that Jews are already blessed they are the most rich they are the most intelligent if you go right now and check how many scientists out of the Jews in the world today he will not believe it but they are a small tiny minority compare they are not even the size of a of a street in China all of them So the argument of the author of the Quran is very silly and does not go up to the even level of somebody have high school. If you read with me the chapter of Al Maida. And this is supposedly a chapter about Jesus. You will see right away that the one who wrote the Quran, he had nothing to do with anything. Like he's talking about Jesus, he jumped talking about the Jews, and the verse after it, Allah he told Moses, Go and attack and take the city or take take this land, which is supposedly the Muslim today they call it Palestine. What does this have to do with this? What this here have to do with after? I was talking about Asa. I talk about Israel. Then I switch talking about Asa. And then I switch back talking about Israel. And then I switch back to talk about Asa. And then I switch back to talk about Israel. I mean, what's wrong with you? What this topic here before have to do with the topic after nothing? Nothing. It's like a guy, he is drunk. So the most important for us now that the founder of Islam do not, and he could not find really if Jesus is considered to be God in Christianity as the only God, or he is one of three as a trinity. This is number one. Number two. Where is the where is the proof of what Muhammad is saying? You see, in a place, me indeed those who say uh, uh, Allah is a Christ. I say actually this is true. The one who says Allah is a Christ is making a big mistake because we don't believe in Allah anyway. And we as a Christian, we don't believe that the Son 
as a person, he is the same person as the father. No. That's not what we believe. So what, what Allah is talking about? What this guy is talking about? <laughs> Madness. This God, he needs to go to school and he needs some education. And then if we go in the Quran, we will find something very funny. And the Muslims always, when they translate, uh, they they don't really give you an accurate translation for this verse. Hey, by the way, if you are a Muslim and you you feel like you want to say something, uh, feel free. You know, I like to hear you. All Muslims are welcome. All right. In chapter two, verse one twenty. It says, never the, will the Jews and the Christians will be satisfied with thee unless you follow their religion. Anyone knows how many mistakes in this verse? How many? What is the first mistake? What is the first mistake? Who noticed the first mistake with me? Never will the Jews and the Christian be satisfied with thee unless you follow their religion. Anyone? You cannot follow the Jews. A Jew, you know what a Jew mean? I mean, obviously, Allah, he do not know what he's talking about. And to be a Jew, you have to be from them. Even the Quran keeps saying the children of Israel, the children of Israel, children of Israel. So how you can be from the children of Israel? Is that a, is that a religion we can convert to? When we say Jew, we are speaking about belief and we speak about an ethnic group, not only a belief. So how you can be a Jew? That is stupid. Secondly, never the Jew, never the Christians will be satisfied unless you follow their religion. Okay, so who is this guy in the Muslim uh, video here? Who is this Abdul here in the Muslim video? The Quran just said that this guy, he was supposed to be a Christian. He will never become a, a Muslim. He will ne never be satisfied with Islam unless you follow his religion. So how he became a Muslim? Do you understand what I'm saying? Muhammad, he made a false prophecy, stupid prophecy, actually, claiming that the Christians and the Jews will never be satisfied with you unless you follow their belief, which means nobody will convert from, to Islam from the Jews, neither from the Christians. It's a false prophecy. False prophet bring always false prophecy. Muhammad in this statement here, he was given up. Eh, nobody want to believe in me. Actually, I can show you a hadith where it says, if only 10 Jews, only 10 Jews believe in me, all the Jews will believe. Just 10. Muhammad could not even make 10 Jews believe in him. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? Before we continue, anyone? We will go to different verse in the Quran, and I will find you something is really astonishing. And the Muslims they hide the translation from you. You don't speak Arabic. In chapter 9, verse number 30, and as you see how how uh, how the Quran, uh, I mean, stories are scattered everywhere. It's like, you know, it's like somebody have a fan. He turned the fan and he have like 1,000 paper in front of the fan, and the fan spreads the, the papers all over. 
and then he start collecting them and he made a book without looking at what he is this is exactly what happened what why why this verse is here why this verse is here many people do not know that there's many verses in the Quran are inserted in the wrong place I will go to that just remind me after I finish this idea here look at the translation it says they take their priest and their like bishops or, or a rabbi as their Lord in derogation to of Allah and then they add there and Christ the son of Mary does it say that in Arabic let us read together slowly I will uh, I will put a line on anything which is not there you see this between two bracket this is not in the Quran supposedly according to the translation this is why it's between two bracket they took their priests and their bishops as their lords instead of Allah okay and Christ the son of Mary anyone anyone understand what happened they took who as God they took their priest and their bishops as what as gods instead of who Allah and the Christ <laughs> I mean that's genius they took their priest listen carefully there is two there is who is instead of who the priest and the rabbi instead of Allah and Christ but they are ordered to worship only one God here says but one Allah it doesn't say that by the way it says one God there's no Allah here that's a false translation here this is false translation it doesn't say one Allah it says one God so the Quran confirm that Jesus is God Allah is God and they are one God if we read in Arabic to make it more accurate they took their monks and their rabbis as lords not as lord lords instead of Allah and the Messiah so what the right thing to do you should take Allah and the Messiah as your one God those who take their bishop and their priest as gods they are committing a big sin and the verse in the front of us and we show it to you in arabic we show it to you in the islamic translation how muhammad he made such a stupid mistake the Muslims today, in order to explain that, they say to, no, 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 in Arabic, we can delay a name to, that's not true. The Arabic is so clear. The second you say, instead, that's mean whatever come after is what is instead. So this verse in chapter nine, verse number 31, confirm the belief of Muhammad in a certain time that Jesus was God and I believe Muhammad he said that when he was married to Khadija this is not in this chapter you know as I told you the Quran is mixed up book so yes it's appear here in chapter 9 verse number 31 but there's no way this verse is made at that time and let us prove that I will give you a very simple example <clears throat>
All right. Chapter 5, verse number 3. This is one crazy verse. Destroy all of Islam together. How? It says forbidden for you the following. Dead meat, flesh of a swine, Blah 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 blah. By, by the way, there is no explanation why. I mean, why we, we don't know. I mean, it's forbidden for you. Not like in the Bible, it's explained why. No, it's forbidden. Muhammad obviously is trying to copy the Jews. It's forbidden for you. What is forbidden by the Jews at that moment? And then look what he said, which I find it astonishing. This day. This day. I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Anyone notice what the stupid thing here? Who, who noticed what is the stupid thing about this? Who want to help me? You see, I'm asking those questions because I want to, I want to be sure that you guys are awake and not like yawning and, you know, who want to help me? I don't want to think alone. What is the problem here? <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. See what Andrew he said? The Quran is 114 chapters, and this is a chapter number five. So how you how today you completed Islam for us? Read carefully. This is not my translate. We can change the translator. This day have I perfected your religion for you. Completed my favor upon you and chosen for you Islam as your religion. Islam became complete. This day. Okay, which day is that? Who is a Muslim when I tell me which day is that? This is a chapter 5 in the Quran. Look, look, look what Muhammad he said. This verse was organized and put near the front. <laughs> He just admitted that Muslims they don't have a book they play with it they don't have the book as Allah he sent it to them they claim that this is from God and nobody should touch the Word of God look at the answer I will give you Qasim isn't it the Quran says that you have kalum an mawadihi What is tahrif in Islam, which means corruption? If you change the location of the words, not to add, not to add, read it carefully. Do you see it, guys? Among those who are Jews, there are some who displace the words from their right place. That is the corruption. This is what the verse is saying. If you displace the words of God from their place, you are a bad person and you are the enemy of Allah. Are we taking notes, people? Are you taking note, Mr. Muhammad Qasim? Everybody saw your text saying that Allah words According to you, Muslim displace it and they put it in the front. Who are you to put it in the front? When the Quran says the one who changed the location of the words, 
change in location of a verse is a change in location of the words. How you do that? And the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, the Quran is a preserved. So now we have a clear evidence that the book, it's called Quran, is a shish kebab falafel. The Muslims, they have their hands all over it and they made salad with it. Same time. Just to show you something very silly. <clears throat> Anyone notice something stupid more than just today I completed your religion for you? Anyone notice something? Who, who let us see, who of you is a, he is a thinker? What happened after he says today I completed your religion for you? What happened? Anyone notice? Look what happened. He just said today I completed your religion for you. This is mean, this should be the last verse in the book. Like the end, like in the old days, the, the movies, they say the, the, the end. So people start leaving this theater. They don't stay sitting, waiting for something to happen. The end. Muhammad, he just said the end. And then he continued talking. And he's saying, look at this. But if you are hungry, brother, yeah. If you are hungry, you can eat. Look, I, I thought it's completed. Why are you adding more? Do you see what I'm saying? He just said, today I completed. Everything is complete, perfect, that's it. When we say completed, that means it's completed. That's it, there's no more to add. But he continues saying, and by the way, if you are hungry, you can eat. Are you God or you are a Christian prince who forgot something and he need to mention it? Hey, Christian prince, hey guys, don't forget to download my video. Today, my uh, my time is completed. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, God bless you and bye-bye. Uh, by the way, by the way, uh, don't forget, if you are hungry, you can eat sandwich. What is that? Is it completed? It's not completed. And then we have the rest of the Quran. And then after that, they ask you about what to eat. I mean, I thought it's completed. Just the verse after it. <laughs> all of this, all of this. I mean, so we have hundreds of chapters after this, and yet it is completed. So the Quran is not a legitimate book to prove anything, except that this is a shish kebab falafel book. Many people played with it, and nobody knows what was the original of it. And obviously the original is, is, is silly too. So now, based on what we saw, and not to forget the scientific miracles of the Quran, the Muslim they claim about to be false and the fraud. Allah even don't remember which one He created first: the stars or the trees, the grass or the trees, the water or the or the stars. Allah don't Allah think the sunset and murky water. Allah He think that the man have a sperm and the sperm became a dead blood and that the blood that the blood became became a human. Forget about all of this, but how can God? be silly and he do not know what he's talking about when you say today i completed my favor upon you and we see a muslim in the chat saying oh we move this verse and we put it in the front that's mean you muslims you are corrupting your book if this book is not originally corrupt because if allah he put it in a place did he put it because of a wisdom or because he's silly stupid and you decide that this is better for it to be there you mean you know what i'm saying guys if allah is god and he said this verse in a certain place who are you to change it are you fixing the wisdom of your god are you saying that your god like he is not wise and i am going to uh, uh, to fix the problem i'm going to fix it put it there because there it's better It was inspected by Prophet Muhammad to prove it. 
Guys, it was inspected by Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> you know what? I will shave my one million beard, foot beard, if you can show me how the Prophet inspected that. Do you dare to show me the proof? Guys, the Prophet inspected that. Now, look, you made it even more horrible. Because if the Prophet, he is the one who says to you, move it there, that means the Prophet is correcting Allah. Correct people? This guy is supposed he's trying to defend, which is a false defense, because there's no proof of such a thing. Secondly, if Muhammad he did that, that is even more horrible. Because if Allah gave it to you in a certain time, then you should keep it in the certain place, as Allah gave it to you. I just showed you that it, Allah, he don't like those who change the location of the words. Do you see it? So there is no way Allah would be satisfied with the one who changed the location of the words. Look, <coughs> nope. Allah wanted it in that order, obviously. Where is that? This is the order of Uthman, you idiot. Sorry to say the word idiot for you. You don't deserve it. First of all, this is not the order of your prophet. This is the Quran of Uthman. Uthman, he put it in that order. Show me the order of the prophet. Go ahead. Who is a Muslim want to show me the order of the prophet? Where he said, do this and that. Do you have the Quran of Muhammad? Uthman, he burned all the other Quran because they are different. And he collect the Quran as he wish. So this is all is a false, silly argument. This poor kid is trying to find a reasoning, but it doesn't work. Obviously, your God, Allah Himself, saying, uh, you know, those who they are doing this, who change the look. You see, the Muslim they say that the, the 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 Bible is corrupt, but the fact the Quran saying they just change the location of the words. And guess what? If you go behind the story, you will find that a guy, he put his finger on the world. He did not even replace it. He just put his finger. If you go and read the interpretation for this verse, you will see it is about a Jew who he put his finger in the top of the world, which is about stoning to death, to hide it. He did not change the location of the book. So how if you put your finger over a word, it's a change and display of words, but if you change the whole verse, is not. And yet your excuse saying that Allah, Prophet, he allowed that. That's mean Allah, Prophet, he didn't respect Allah as God. Because who is more authority? The Prophet or the God? If I am a supervisor, and I work as a, let us say, supervisor of the servants in the palace, and this palace have a king and this king he says to me Christian Prince don't move this from here to there or I want you to put it there after the king leave I say to the servant hey move it move it put it there obviously I disrespect the king and if the king he heard about what I just did he would punish me and as you see when they display the words from their right place, they disobey. And here in Muslim, they put Muhammad. It doesn't say that. I mean, they insert Muhammad in everywhere. <clears throat> the one who dis displays the words from their location, he is disobeying God. And he's making mockery of God. Do we have any Muslim to call? Now we continue. When the Muslim they say that God he can and God he cannot. I want to show you the verse after this. So you will see that the God of Islam he cannot. Look what it says here. This is the verse after it. 
all who you believe or who sorry or who uh, or you who have been given the scriptures the Jews and the Christians believe in what we have revealed to who to Muhammad confirming what is already with you hold on 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. anyone sh just saw something stupid here Anyone just saw some something not only stupid, it's astonishing stupid. Who noticed? What is the astonishing st stupid here? Somebody tell me. It is with you already. It's with you. It's with you now. So confirming what is, but in the verse before it, he is talking about those who dis displays the word from their their book, <laughs> and he is using the word in Arabic yuharifun. Yuharifun in Arabic mean a change in place, but it's corruption. They corrupt. So how did you just accuse them that you are confer that they are corrupting, and you are saying I confirm what is with you? I mean, who is the stupid here? The verse before it, he is accusing them of corruption. The verse after it, he confirmed what is with them. That is a God who we call him Mr. Drunk. Mr. Drunk is talking. And the disaster is not stopped. Look at this. So believe in what we sent to you, which with Muhammad, before we efface faces by making them like the back of the neck without nose, mouth, eyes, etc. <laughs> okay, hold on. The guy who was saying, Jesus, why Jesus cannot be God? He says Jesus cannot be born or God cannot be born. He said, God cannot eat. He said, but let me tell you something. God, the number thing God he cannot be is being stupid. What 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 this is threat is about? I mean, this is the most hilarious, stupid threat ever I heard of. If we don't believe in Muhammad, Allah will erase our nose, nose, our mouth, our eyes, and he will put it in the back. And guess what? Allah, he made a threat. Aka Muhammad, Aka Allah. They are one person. But where is the threat? Where is the one Christian who Allah erased his eyes and his nose and his mouth? Can you name phone for me? They did not believe. You just told them, if you don't believe, Believe now, but before it's too late, Allah will And a Muslim, he might say to you, this is in the judgment day. It doesn't know. Because he's saying to you, the same as he did to the Jews who broke the Sabbath, he cursed them and he made them pigs and monkeys. So this is not about the judgment day. Do you see it? If Allah is God and he threat the Christians, okay, if God now, if Allah is God and he talked to Christian Prince, he's Christian Prince, you have five minutes to believe in Muhammad or I'm going to erase your face, nose. I don't like my nose, by the way. I mean, I mean but sometimes it's useful. Uh, yeah, you can smell the silly Quran with it. So I will erase your nose. I'll erase your eyes. I will erase your mouth. And I wait five minutes and I keep laughing at Allah. And nothing happened. That's mean Allah is a false God. Because the one is talking here is Allah. This is not someone else. The one who made the threat. This is not the prophet. This is not a companion. This is not a Muslim calling Christian prince saying, if you don't believe in Allah right now, you will die. This is not. This is Allah himself saying to all the Christians, all the Jews.
Any Muslim have any comment? So the reason I mention this, like, what does have to do with Jesus being God or not? Jesus, he do, and he say what he do. You see how we prove that Jesus is God? It's not by those uh, items they are saying here that God cannot be. God cannot be. Oh, let me tell you something. Well, man cannot be born of a virgin. That's not normal. Man cannot be alive for thousands of years. He cannot. Man cannot be in the sky right now and I am down on earth. Why I'm not there? Man cannot forgive sin, and this is what Jesus did. Man cannot create from the mud the bird and he make it alive. Man, he cannot make a blind man who is born a blind see. Man cannot tell you what you had in your house. Man, he cannot be pure for every man is a sinner. Man cannot control the nature. Man cannot control and read the human being mind. This is Jesus, my friend. Jesus ate, he slept. When he was asleep, he controlled the nature. In his sleep, the storm was going and everybody was scared. And he told them, okay, come to me, walk in the water. That is Jesus. So what has slept? He came in, in the flesh. And as long as we are talking about the flesh of a man, Isn't it Allah himself, he looked like Jesus, according to Muhammad? Look at the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan when they speak about Jesus. Muhammad is warning the Muslims about someone he is supposedly the Antichrist. The Muslims, why there's Antichrist? There's no anti-Muhammad. If, if shaitan is the antichrist okay i mean shaitan is fighting for position of god why is antichrist not anti-muhammad you see when we say okay <clears throat> when we have two president talking like okay yesterday i was talking against trump hey, trump did not respond to christian prince because the christian prince is not important for him as simple as that I mean, who is this guy, Christian Prince? He is just a citizen of my country. I am the king of this country. He's no one. As simple as that. But if a Trump, he said, I am going to be anti-Christian Prince, that means he made himself fighting the one who he thinks the most dangerous thing, the highest. So we became now, like, obviously, one of us is so high to the point I became his anti. Why the shaitan, the Satan, is not anti Allah? Any Muslim knows? Why the shaitan is not anti Allah? Who is a Muslim know the, the answer? Why shaitan is not anti-Allah? Why is anti-Jesus? Remember, Muhammad is the highest prophet in Islam, which means Jesus is no way to be close. But yet, the Muslim, they believe that shaitan is anti-Christ. He's not anti-Muhammad. He's not even anti-Allah. Hmm. What the Muslim will say? I will tell you what they will say. Allah knows best. Because Muhammad is nothing but a, you know, a counterfeit. You know what counterfeit, right? It's aftermarket, like you know, in the like in the fake market, they make product which is fake, like fake Rolex. Fake, he you know, he copied those stories, he copied names from other belief, and he put them in his religion. He don't know what he's what talking about. Why the why why this person is antichrist? And this person not only he is a powerful Muhammad, he claimed that this person, if he cut a person, a human being to pieces, he can glue him together. 
after he cut you to pieces with his sword, he can put you together. This person, the Antichrist, he can order gold and silver to come from the ground. He just point his finger at the ground and the ground will start rusting out gold and silver. This man at the jail, which is equal to God, or he making himself equal to God, which is equal to Christ, he can control the nature, storms, cloud, sun, moon. But look what happened. The prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal that I am afraid you may not understand. The Antichrist is short hinted, really hired or heard, one eyed and an eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. Who is the Lord he's talking about? Muslims, who is the Lord Muhammad is speaking about? Any Muslim? They will say Allah, but that, that will be stupid. Because this guy, he will claim that he is the Messiah. The Dajjal, his name actually, his name is not Dajjal. His name is al Masih al-Dajjal, which means the false Messiah. So why he is comparing between him and the look of Allah? <laughs> look at this. <clears throat> Do you see, guys, the word the Masih? Do you see the word Masih? You see it, right? I mean, in, even in English, Al Masih. Al Masih is an Arabic word coming from the 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 the, the, uh, the Christ in in the Hebrew, the Messiah in Hebrew, Masih. So the Messiah, at the Dajjal. So what this guy he is claiming to be, he's claiming to be the Messiah. Are we clear? So he's trying to replace who, the Messiah. Okay. So what do you mean that Allah is not one-eyed? Huh? Uh, the correct transliterate of Jesus Christ in Arabic, Yeshua, Yeshua. In, in Hebrew, it is Yeshua. Yeshua in Hebrew, Yeshua. Yeshua, this is how we write it down. But try to focus with me, please. But as long as you are talking about the Messiah, we will let it go. Yeshua. So here what we have, we have a problem. We have a big problem. Muhammad, he is just confirming that by a person, by when the person he say that he is the Messiah, he is God. Did he say that? Be my witness, the hadith in front of you. Muhammad is comparing between who? Between the false Messiah and Allah. Do, do we understand, guys, what I'm saying? Anyone here is not, and uh, so I can explain more? Okay, let us say we have, you know, we have somebody claiming to be you claiming to be you okay and uh, he will go to your uh, your let's say grandparents who never saw you you are born in different city different town different country and then you call them you say hey like let's say uh, you send them letter there is no internet there is no photos there so you send them a letter says uh, uh, my grandpa my son uh, my father my son will come to you and the way to this to, there's a guy because there's a guy he claimed to be him he's a scammer he's a fraud he will come to you and he will claim that this is your grandson don't believe him for my son is he looked like this and that one he looked like that the difference between them only is one eye that's mean allah is a man
Are we clear? What is the difference between the false messiah and the real messiah? One eye. But Muhammad saying, your Lord, Allah, is not one-eyed. While the Messiah, the false Messiah, the Dajjal, which means the fraud, the Dajjal means a fraud, liar. While the false Messiah is one-eyed, he just confess and he just admitted that Muhammad saying that the Messiah is God. Because this compare should not happen between Allah and the false Messiah. It should happen between the false Messiah and the real Messiah. Isn't it the real Messiah is going to come back? The Muslim, they say yes. Okay, the Messiah who is going to come back. And the false Messiah, he will claim to be the Messiah. What does this have to do with Allah? And Allah, look. And the false messiah, he is a man anyway. He looked like a man. We have a guy, his name is Muhammad Iqbal. He keeps saying he want to talk to me. Let us see what he want. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Muhammad, how are you? Hello, I hear you, Mr. Muhammad. Go ahead. You are live on air. What do you want to say? Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello. Can you hear me now? I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. Hi, CP. How are you? I'm fine. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Uh, you know, actually, I've been watching your videos for over two weeks, hmm. and uh, I'm from originally, actually, from Pakistan. You're welcome. No problem. And. Uh, I never imagined the things I somehow accidentally I ended up watching videos from Sammy Simone, uh, Shimon, Sam Shimon, my then friend, David. My friend, go go and, uh, directly to the topic. I don't I don't care you watch to who, uh, Sam Shamoon. There's many, you know. But what, what what do you want to say to me? Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, uh, actually, I would like to ask us a question. Actually, what do you think about our topic? What do you think about what we show in the screen? As long you. You want to yeah, I'm, oh, okay. I'm actually, you know, I'm baffled to learn those things. I never learned when um, being here because hmm. uh, no one ever discussed me. Hmm. And uh, I'm shocking. I'm checking the references, all those things that uh, I, I now I, 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 you know, I'm right now. I'm I think that I've been I've been deceived for for years in my life, along with the. Uh, for all my life that uh, I'm now checking the references, I'm going through that, uh, how I've been deceived when it's come to translation too, how the Muslims are translating now. But you are a Muslim. And, uh, but you are a Muslim. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm shocked those things that how how this is can be happened that I thought maybe uh, this is the truth I'm following the Islam actually, and I never imagined. You, you know, but I don't know, I remember like, or was your text in the chat saying you wanna call me as if you are like challenging me or something. So, I'm not sure, like how when this has changed on you, like when you start uh, say, saying that there's uh, somebody lying to you, because as you I remember, know, you were I, texting. I start watching, I, wanna... uh, I watching a video about two weeks, uh, okay. and uh, I can tell within a week I actually figured it out. Uh, somehow I it changed my mind. In the first week, I thought I have to call you and I have to challenge you to, hey, no, you are wrong actually. But now I'm checking the references, and I'm shocked. I'm going to the all my alims and. Uh, all the people who know the uh, the Quran actually, and uh, when I ask the question, they have no answer. They are fail to explain me that what's going on, and uh, I'm glad that my kids are uh, actually uh, uh, they are uh, uh, understandable. Actually, they are between twenty to fourteen years old, and uh, they are my wife. She can also understand English, and we are checking the answer. We shot to see how. Muhammad used to beat his wife. She and he has a sex slaves, and uh, uh, all the worst that yesterday one of the uh, one of the uh, Muslim call you and you when you showed him about uh, uh, he can have he can uh, nik uh, learn about nikah actually now uh, now my kids and my wife they know actually what does actually nikah mean 
uh, al nukah Mm-hmm. and uh, we are shocked to learn those things that uh, no one ever taught and no one want to discuss and uh, actually because i'm i was trying to call you about in the first week that to challenge you to correct you that me i might know something but now uh, i realize within the next week that i don't know anything about islam exactly And I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking this. you because you keep text, text saying like you want to like you want to challenge me. You are wrong. So now I'm surprised that you are saying the opposite because a week ago you were, I see your text in the chat, and you were like challenging and you are wrong. Call me if you can. Do you like whatever? So now you 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 switch your mind and you find that this is true, right? We lost him. You know why we lost him? Because we did not say inshallah before we call. <laughs> Let us call him again. <laughs> yes, Muhammad. Hello. Yes, Muhammad. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Uh. So. Uh. Uh. For in the beginning, I was just a straight denial. But you, whatever you were saying, actually, when I say, you know, this guy is talking. exactly from the references why should i not just go and check the references right and when i went there and checked the references i was like baff- i was shocked oh my god no why i i, I don't know why they never discuss this type of thing maybe uh, the muslims are ashamed and within a two weeks i can tell my kids and my wife too we are so glad that uh, i found this channel and i was able to learn a lot of things uh, and now we are changing uh, we are trying to change that uh, uh, i know uh, uh, at this position we are from uh, uh, the country actually we cannot discuss these things very openly we can only raise a question but we cannot criticize openly and uh, i would just say thank you so much for uh, for your effort that what you are doing and uh, we are able to learn a lot of things about so, uh, Muhammad, islam did you did you decide you said you and your family to leave islam did you decide to leave islam oh we we already left actually you know we uh, uh, from the previous about two weeks uh, within a uh, two weeks we decided that we are following a false religion and a false prophet the prophet who is just greedy about a woman sex money and uh, Uh, and, and there's nothing actually to talk about uh, about uh, when you talk about the, the kaaba and uh, i'm i'm shocked actually i'm definitely my wife and we three kids actually so we are total five and now my brother is also watching your videos but he doesn't speak english well so he's i'm just trying to help him but uh, he's 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 a he's a hard headed but uh, i always uh, uh, try to find some truth and uh, i'm glad i was able to find some truth and uh, i i it is it's really hard to uh, to uh, cuz you know uh, we were always brainwashed to as uh, a muslim from the childhood uh, that jews are your enemy they are worse the bible is changed and uh, um i th- that's true we never find any verse in the quran that says that equal to the jesus verse says love your enemy pray for them in the quran you can find this type of verse that the show a love affection for the others uh quran is not near not even close to those verses we have a fable stories about uh, uh about uh, muhammad uh, which is a false prophet i have to admit now at this moment who's a false prophet that if uh, that uh, you know the old lady uh, trashing uh, throwing the garbage on the prophet he's passing the street uh, and yeah, about bilal false, he used false to be stories. he stories. used to be abused by his honor and uh, but we don't know exactly the whole story about what happened with bilal we uh, i never learned from from school actually when i was in and in, in school actually but now i'm learning from you actually and uh, i was really shocked why i never learned from muslims those things you see uh, uh, muhammad i i have a i think you know i have a degree in islamic law right Yes. Okay. So, my degree never helped me to understand anything in this cult, because in Islamic school, what they say to you, Prophet is amazing, Islam is wonderful. That's it. 
So you learn nothing from Muslims because everybody is saying the same. Muhammad is the most amazing. Quran is perfect. So anything I learned, I did not learn because I graduated and I have a degree in Islamic law and I can be a judge in an in Islamic court. But because I work so hard, reading, studying, researching, this is my own work. This is not a teacher teaching me. So what we are doing here, we are showing people what actually happened and took me a lot of study, a lot of work. As you see here, Bilal, Bilal said to Abu Bakr, if you have bought me for yourself, keep me for yourself. But if you have bought me for the sake of Allah, let me go for the sake of Allah. Muhammad died and Bilal is still a slave. He never freed him. They give us a speeches about Bilal. Bilal, the first one who go for Adhan. Do you know that Muhammad, he never called for Adhan ever once? Never. Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, never said Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Never. Why? Why? Because this was the job of the slave. The white man, Abu Bakr, the white one, Omar, the, the, those Arab men, they are white. They are asleep and they are snoring and the poor Bilal go to the top of the roof saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Muhammad never, and I change any Muslim, to explain to me why Muhammad is a prophet of God, but yet he never called the call of God. Why he never go and do Adhan? And I'm talking specifically thought, about that. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. And uh, I... I I was I'm I'm really shocked. My wife, my kids, uh, and uh, uh, that why he never called. Why he's any other uh, uh, you know ashabas? Why they never uh, call for prayer early morning? Bilal, is, no, he order, Bilal, even the hadith says that Allah Prophet he ordered Bilal to call for order. He did not he say Bilal, please go up to this roof and you know. Allah Prophet, he ordered Bilal. So Bilal is not given an honor to call for the Adhan. He was ordered. As simple as that. You know, yeah. my friend uh, Muhammad, I'm really, uh, I'm really happy that's you and your family. And you said you are five of you. You left Islam, and a week ago you were like, you want to challenge me? You want to prove me wrong? But I'm really happy uh, that you guys you you left Islam. But what about Christianity? Uh, you, you know, we are reading actually Bible. I try to understand actually, and uh, to be honest, before that we never thought about this way. But since now we know how bad teaching of Islam is. And I also last night I was watching, uh, you know, Ayan Hirsi's uh, uh, conversations. Who? Ayan Hirsi Ali. Yeah, I don't know who is that. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, uh, she's a. I think Somalian uh, Muslim convert. Uh, she's uh, now atheist, and uh, she about talk about uh, Ayan Hirsi Ali. She uh, so she, she she talks about the mentality of the Islam from childhood to right. uh, to the death. Actually, the Islam focus only on the afterlife, but never focus on the real life. That you have to excel yourself here too uh, to adjust with your society. Islam never try to assimilate, uh, and uh, those things. I, I never thought about before that, but now uh, I would say, you know, my whole family, actually, we definitely, we are out of Islam because it's not the religion that we expect that. And the second thing, I, yesterday, you when you were talking with the brother, you showed about the privileges of Islam, uh, Prophet, actually. Right. So I... Uh, can you send me the the Saudi Arabia link uh, to my Skype actually, so Which I one? can Which go one? and check the the the, the thirteen privileges he, of prophet? Yeah, okay, I will do that. The one if yeah, he, so, if you like a woman, he have to take her. Yes, her, and you can husband. send me the privileges link too, so I can go and check because mm -hmm. uh, I know uh, I can read Arabic, but I cannot understand actually. No problem. And because uh, 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 my first language is Urdu. Then my second language is English, and I know a little bit Arabic, but I can translate easily. That's not a problem. So uh, I tried to talk to the alum about those privileges, and he was, no, we don't want to talk with you. We don't want to talk with you about these things. Yeah. And they're like running away. I say, you know, I'm talking, I'm asking a question about Islam. It's written in the books, and you are straight denying what is the reason why you don't want to talk about those things. 
Well, they are very embarrassing, and if they want to talk about it, it's it's uh, it's. Uh, I mean, this topic you should hide, otherwise people they will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. You see, we are not. I'm not like I always. I say like you as a Muslim from coming from a Muslim family. I always say to the Christians, love the Muslims, never hate them, because as you see, here we go. Uh, 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 Mr. Muhammad, um, uh, a week ago, he was angry from me. He wanna prove me wrong. Christian Prince is wrong. Maybe he's, he's saying to himself, "This guy is a liar. He is not being honest, etc." But then, you know, things will change because he saw that this is the truth. This is what's happening. This guy is not, is not making things up. It's there. It's in front of me, and he is even showing the reference one by one in the screen. And then he went and he checked it out. And it turned to be true. So what we will do? The only way is either I, you know, go blind. I say I did not see nothing. I did not hear anything. And Muhammad is still is a good guy for me. Or I have to make a decision and I leave this cult. And here we go. Glory to the Lord. We have Muhammad and his wife. Five of them. I don't know the the, the rest are the rest are your kids, uh, Muhammad. The rest of the five. yeah, uh, fourteen, uh, seventeen, and twenty. That's wonderful. So you see, here we go. They are actually more lucky than you. They did not waste their time and their life when they get older, you know, praying to the to the false god, right? So yeah, I mean, my wife she used to wear a veil actually, and now she's considering to take off so she can free feel free herself actually. You see, man, the, the veil, Muhammad, is not what make women decent. You know that, right? A woman she can cheat on you if she wear a veil or not, like, you know. Uh, 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 if somebody, if actually the veil, by the way, can be a very great way to help somebody to cheat, because you, you know, with my respect, your family. I'm not talking about your family, but my wife, if I'm married and she is wearing a veil, I can see her maybe walking with a guy going in his car. I will not even know that this is her, even there is two meter between me and her. Correct? Yes. Because she is wearing a burqa, I cannot see her. I cannot recognize her. So this not the cloth will make a woman good or bad. Bad is bad, and good is good. You know, everyone I, he do. I what he believe. I always, I always say why uh, Takia exist. Even the Jesus say I already know the verse of Jesus. Uh, yes or yes or no no because Christian in Pakistan they don't uh, swear. Right. They don't swear. They say yes or no. Right. And uh, the early you were talking about the jealousy. A uh, lot of uh, Christians. Uh, because they lose their, uh, lose their uh, jobs, lose their house because of the jealousy, because the next neighbor, next door neighbor is Muslim. And uh, he accused him that he uh, disrespect prophet. And they killed him, whole family killed him, whole village burned down uh, just for the one accused. It's not proven. It's yeah. not proven. It's a way to, and take, now, to take your neighbor. Now down. we're learning them. why blasphemy law exists because Islam cannot stand criticism. Exactly. Islam cannot stand criticism because everything is written in Islamic books. And if you raise a question, I was really sad about, a, a, I think last year, a professor killed by his student. He was a professor at university. He was probably criticizing not show the whole history but the but the student who killed his professor actually he accused he told the police actually that he was a disrespecting prophet we don't know the whole history but definitely maybe he was jealous of him and something that uh, he cannot bear and uh, uh, there's a lot of shit in pakistan uh, uh, people are very depressed over here especially benign minorities and uh, a child child marriages are happening. I always wonder why child marriage is happening. Why Muslims are killing Muslims? Why Shias are killing Sunnis? Why Sunnis are killing Shias? The reason because the prophet teaching to kill hypocrite, follow the higher number, and uh, uh, kill the apostate. I I never imagine those things. I always say, oh Muhammad, very good, but I can tell he was not good at all. When I check the references, what kind of profit is this? All about sex, money, sex, money. Yeah. But what we've been teach that uh, he was a uh, prosecuted. But no, when I check the references through you and through David Wood, uh, Sam Shmoon, uh, Ayan Hirsi, they learn. Oh my God! Actually, it's the opposite. Well, my friend, I'm very happy for you. It's written I'm, I'm, in the uh, history. I'm just opening I'm, the website. I'm for so the, uh, Thank you so much for but, providing those references. But you know, it's, my whole family, you know, it's in Arabic. Right? Those references are we in are Arabic. Studying. 
we are studying the Bible. And my brother, his family is also watching your videos, checking the references. We never had Sahih Bukhari. We never had uh, those uh, uh, hadith in our, our house. And now we have, we bought those books just to check the references to see that what we are missing about Islam. All right. Well, I just send you the link about uh, Al Qurtubi, and this is from the official government website of the Kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia. This is the Ministry of Islam in Saudi Arabia, and you will see there. But as you know, this is in Arabic, so you have, I don't know if you know how to read Arabic, you have to use Google Translation in order to read it. All right. Uh, yeah. I can I can type to it because I know the Aldo. Yeah, I just I just send you the link exactly the one I was showing to the uh, the the Muslim who left Islam yesterday. I don't know if you were listening yesterday. Or if, yeah, I'm listening. I'm yeah. listening to him. Yeah, I know every person can be shocked besides the ignorant people who are completely denial that what yeah. prophet did. Well, I'm glad that's you know uh, people they uh, they want to challenge me, they want to prove me wrong, and they call me and then they leave us now. What do you want more? I mean, this is wonderful. God is good, my friend, and the truth will set you free. We are not, you are not leaving because of a Christian prince. You are leaving because Islam is bad. As simple as that. Right? I totally agree with you. All right. Well, I, If someone else had told me about Islam, I would have left maybe a year ago. I, and I, I've, I've been deceived by this religion for years and years and years. Well, deception and, is uh, over, and now we have the truth, my friend. And that's why I'm here. I'm spending my time. You see, sitting here is really is not really. It doesn't make my make day good, because I get angry, I get upset. I mean, people they say stupid things sometimes. I mean, you know, it's, it's it's a headache. But my pleasure is to see people leaving this cult, and my pleasure became so beautiful. I was so nice. I forgot all the things I did when I see somebody accepting Christ as a, as a savior. So I hope soon I will hear from you, uh, Muhammad, you and your family that you decide to accept jesus as your lord and you feel free to call me if you decide to announce yourself like yourself to be as a christian or if you have a question about the bible i will be happy to help you if i can uh, you know as uh, as uh, in the best i can you know i only have the problem with the trinity but i watched your video yesterday right. and it a little bit explained to me actually that how can i believe actually it's in the quran trinity is in the quran you are just talking about actually well, uh, the Trinity in the Quran is about like the, the Muslim. They say that the, how 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 someone can be one and yet he's three, right? So the yeah. Quran, I use, I use the verse from the Quran to explain how somebody can be three in the same time he is one. But the Quran always Trinity is wrong. Everything in the Quran is wrong. But the Quran, one of this contradiction, it says that uh, Trinity is wrong. Actually, in the same verse. The same verse, Allah, he says the Trinity is wrong. It's the same verse, it says that there's a Trinity because he in the same verse, chapter 4, verse 171, says that Jesus, the, the Messiah, he is a tree in one. So how you say, say no Trinity, but yet in the same verse, you say Jesus is a three in one. And the verse in the front of everybody, this is a Muslim translation, not my translation. Jesus in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 171, it says, hey, Christians, don't commit executing religion. Here, say no trinity. Don't say trinity. There's no trinity. But look what he said. Christ, Isa, the son of Mary, was a man. So he's a man. And he is the word of God. This is two. And he is spirit proceeding from him. Look how he is one, yet he's a three. He is the word. He is the man. He is the spirit. All of this is Jesus. Yet the Muslims, they want to debate us that it's impossible to be three in one. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm shocked when I read those references and I remove those deceiving brackets from the translation. All the, all the, you know, actually all the translation is deceiving anyway, but uh, we use their deceiving translation to get them busted. Even with deceiving translation, we are winners. You know? Yeah, even. Um, I'm 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 shocked, uh, and like you, when you were saying yesterday, even uh, if, if, if even the scholars are bragging about how good the Islam is trying to defend in their ahadis and tafsirs, uh, what was in reality? I I can't imagine. Yeah. I can't imagine how this prophet 
fake profit. Uh, I I have no shame to add. Fake profit was trying to what what he what he did in the past in the seventh century. Yeah. Well, uh, and Muhammad, uh, I also learn about it uh, because now I start to learn a history of hadiths and uh, tafsirs and your videos, David Wood videos, and Bill Warner's actually. I learn actually the you know the Crusades. The crusade happened because of Islam, not because of uh, they were fighting with each other. You know, Muhammad, I you know I'm really happy that you call me, but I hope that soon you will accept the Messiah. Because let me tell you something. Today, me and you are going to sleep. There is no guarantee that neither me or you will wake up in the morning. Nobody knows, right? Yes. And salvation is not something to joke around. As long as you made a decision that Islam is not, there's no salvation from the skull. There's only hell. And as long you are, you said you start you and your wife and your family reading the Bible. I pray that you will come to a conclusion because I want you to be convinced. I want you to be a true believer. We don't believe in someone saying Shahada as Muslims. We don't believe in that. You have to believe in your heart, in Christianity. So you have to believe in Christ from your heart. But I advise you not to waste time. Not to waste time. Do what you need to do. Study what you need to study. But you have to make decision because time is not something we own. We don't own it. We are in a process machine. It's called time. Yesterday I was a kid. Today I'm a man. Tomorrow I will be old. The day after I'm dead. And maybe many of us, they die even in a very young age. Even some, they die in a, as a child age. So your soul will be taken from you. And you have to make a decision where you want to be and what you believe. Either you want to be an atheist who don't believe in any God. Or you believe in God and you have to choose who is your God. And I think from what I heard from you, you still believe in God, correct? Yes. Okay. So, and Christ is a very uh, possible, uh, 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 like for you to believe in him, because obviously I think I cannot find better name than his name to follow or to, 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 to accept. So you need to come to a conclusion. If you cannot say now, I accept the Messiah as Savior, I will be happy to hear from you soon. You and your family, you can call me. And if you have a question about the Bible, I will be happy to help you. But don't wait for long. Because No, it's not going to be. Yeah, it's not I, if I can decide to leave this cult, I have to add this cult, sorry. Uh, it, it's really hard to say this word. I have to leave this cult within two weeks. And uh, we are just reading Bible, whole family, and trying to understand and also uh, checking the uh, references and uh, I have to add also that Google peace be upon him I heard a lot of time from you uh, and that's it yeah that's it Google peace be upon is better than the prophet of Islam actually who taught us nothing but Google peace be upon him taught so many things that uh, helped me out to find the truth actually that uh, Islam is a completely definitely a cult all right well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Muhammad, for calling. I'm happy that you left Islam, you and your family. Five people left Islam today, as we heard. And that's wonderful. And I will be happy to hear from you again that you accepted Christ very soon. Yeah, Call I will, when you I do, if I need any, any question, any references, I can I can text you. Yeah, yeah or Skype, right? Yeah, I have. Yes, sure. You can you can call me. You No problem. You can okay, call thank me. you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Muhammad. All right. God bless you and your family. You. All right. Uh, yeah. We pray, we pray that Muhammad and his family, five members, and I think he said there's one more. I think, I don't know his dad, or he is in the house too. He don't speak English. He is explaining to him. So five of them, they left Islam already. And we pray that soon they will accept the Messiah as their Lord, as their Savior. To the Lord we pray. Please put this gentleman in your prayer, and let us hope that he will come to the Messiah. In the front of us, we have in the screen, I put a comment of a Muslim says, I'm proud Muslim. Islam is the most rational religion. I will shave my one billion foot beard if you can show me how Islam is rational in any way. Not only the most rational, if Islam have anything to do with rational. Can you? Can you call me and show me one thing in this Islam is rational? What rational? I don't think you know what rational mean. 
I was just showing the, the, the gentleman who left Islam with his family that your prophet, he one of his privilege that if he see a woman walking by, her husband must divorce her so he can have her. Is that rational? Muhammad, he went to the house of his own son and he flirted with the wife when she was in the husband of in the, in the, in the, in the, in the house of the husband. Is that rational? وقال مقاتل زوج النبي صلى الله عليه زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم زينب بنت جحش من زيد فمكثت عنده حين ثم إنه عليه السلام أتى زيدا يوما يطلبه فأبصر زينب قائمة كانت بيضاء جميلة جسيمة من أتم نساء قريش فهويها وقال سبحان الله مقلب القلوب فسمعت زينب بالتسبيح فذكرتها لزيد and you are talking about rational the prophet of Allah he came once to Zaid looking for him what and what happened and he saw Zainab and she was standing and she was very white and very big And she is from the most beautiful women of Quraysh. So he fell in love with her. A prophet of God fell in love with married women. She is married to his son. Who is saying that? This is a Christian prince. This is your book. This is Al-Qurtubi. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Ministry of Islam. And he flirted with the women. I don't know what happened to my mouse. I lost control. Hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Here we go, finally. What is that? And you are telling me Islam is the most rational religion? What is rational? The one you send me, uh, the Danish, whatever his name. Uh, there's many names there. I don't know if which one of them. But anyway, he can try. Islam is the most rational. What is rational about it? So as you see, those who they are putting rules how Jesus can be God and how Jesus cannot be God, they go blind when it's come to Muhammad. And all their rules is nothing but a fabrication and fictions. And let me show you, because until now we did not show you really the real evidence that Jesus must be God. Look what the Quran said. This is the Quran speaking about Jesus. Look at this. Jesus is a messenger. Okay. But this messenger, he can make from the clay. A figure of a bird and he breathed into it and is going to be a living bird and then they add by the leave of Allah what is confirmed here let us analyze this what is confirmed is that by Allah leave Jesus can create from the mud a bird and from his breathe Breathing life is created. 
Okay. Is that a miracle to prove that Jesus is a prophet or Jesus is God? Who is a Muslim want to help us? Is this is a miracle will make me as a Christian believe that Jesus is God or Jesus is a prophet? If that is will make me believe that Jesus is prophet, well, obviously Allah is wrong because that made me believe that Jesus is God. For now he can create as God he create from the breath of Jesus. Life is created. Why? Who as a Muslim can tell us how and why from the breath of Jesus life can be created? Any Muslim? Anyone? We have a Muslim here. Let's see what he want to say. He asked us to add him and call him. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. What do you like to say to us? Uh, I would like, uh, I don't want to say anything, but it's like, I believe in God, just like you, you know. And every time, I don't know how to say it, but I love Christians, I love Jews, you know, I, love, I don't care. So I'm, I'm just curious about uh, how do you think Islam is like false? Okay. the wrong religion okay uh, you are a muslim right <laughs> yes right. alhamdulillah okay alhamdulillah you just said that you love christians and you love jews correct yeah okay well by saying that you just decide that you are not a muslim no more do you know how no 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 L just listen to me okay yeah like the christian believe in the same god as we no we don't only the yeah, I believe in all prophets. It's yeah. like, okay, you know, problem, but and, and forget about this now. We will talk about it now. You said you love the Christians, you love the Jews, correct? Yeah, tell me, prove okay. me I'm wrong. Like. All right, no problem. I want you to read for me this verse. Do you see my uh, YouTube in the screen? No, I don't think if, if I can do this. Like, okay. uh, um, I, I, I can give you a link if you want, and you can open the link in your side. Is that okay? I have if it's in the Quran. It is okay. Chapter 58, verse number 22. And this is the link. I will send it to you. What do you say? It's like chapter, chapter? chapter 58, verse number 22. I send you a link. You can all click at the link and open it if you want. And this is an Islamic website, not my website. Wait a second. Because I'm from the Netherlands, so then I have like this. No the problem. I have my books translated to your language. You can read. Okay, like the 24, 22 first, right? From uh, El Mujadila. Right? Mujadila, correct. Okay. Okay, read it. Go ahead. Read it, and uh, you know, and translate to me in English. What do you understand? Does it say that those who they are true believers, they will never be friends to the Christians and the Jews? Okay, let me let me let me just give me like five seconds, okay? No problem. Uh, there is somebody says kill all. Uh, please, admin, block him. There's a guy I saw him saying kill all, whatever. Yeah, block him, please. Not only uh, delete him, block him. If I'm if I'm reading this, I cannot see that there is written christianity or judaism okay but don't me don't don't be friend to those who oppose islam correct no there's they're standing like you don't find any uh, uh people hmm. uh, that not believe in, in god like 
okay. and in the last day. Okay. Yeah, the Muslims, you will not find from the people who believe in Allah, those are the Muslims, and the last day, making what? Yeah. Making friendship with those who oppose Allah and, 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 and His Messenger, correct? Yeah, but it's not like making friends. It's like if if you if you if you study like you, I think you're like good learner. Right? You study uh, Christianity, maybe Judaism, or maybe like like uh, Islam, mm. right? Mm -hmm. If you if you have studied it, mm. you can you can see the chronological uh, chronicle like how do you say? Friend, do you speak Arabic? You can see like the timeline. I cannot speak Arabic, but okay. it's like so. You are first... you are reading a translation in your language. It says, "Don't make what with those people. What people who you cannot make with them to, to what you cannot make them with, like what you cannot do with with them. What exactly it says in your language there? It says like people who uh, strive against Islam. Okay. Yeah. What we can do to you them? Can, you can you you cannot you uh, and it's uh, you cannot be what you cannot be friends with them thank you thank you but a second ago you said yeah, you, you see but a second ago you said you love the christians and you love the jews that's mean you are not only a friend now you are a lover you say no, no 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 he says okay okay let me ask you are you willing to take me as a friend of course okay i oppose allah and i oppose muhammad but why like it's like it's, friend, it's like you see you see hold yeah. on you are you are just saying to me why you ask your God? No, no, no. But wait, God. it's it's. But you also like need to read like uh, why why it is in this context. You know no, what I mean? We know why it says clearly. You can read the interpretation. You will not find a true believer. This is what the verse is saying. You are reading in your translation. I don't know who is the translator in your language. You will not find a true believer from those who believe in Allah and His Messenger. One of them, just one. He make a friendship with those who wait, are not wait, Muslim. Wait, wait, Let me wait, ask wait, you: wait, wait, wait. Do you have a friend? Do you have a friend? He's a Christian. Uh, can I can I can I say there's mm. they just say if you like people who strive against Islam my, right? friend, my friend anyone against. who refuse Islam is striving against Islam anyone who oppose Muhammad anyone say I'm not going to convert he is against Islam don't you know that okay but even though yeah they say you cannot be friends with them okay, okay let me ask you can you be friend okay, but, can you be can you but, be friend to your father if he is not a Muslim of course, okay. it's your father. The same verse in like front of you saying, the, my, my friend, my friend, I don't know what your name, your name, what is your name, Muhammad, what's your name? My name is Danish. Okay, Mr. Danish. Okay. Can, I, can, I, can I give listen, you like listen, a story? Listen, 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 does it say in front of you that you cannot be a friend even to your brother and your father? Your real father in front of you in the same verse. No, but it's, oh, you don't, like, you just... Seeing it like I'm black and white, you know. If you're like a smart guy, you can see. Oh, okay, let me ask you. I'm not smart, and you are smart. According to the interpretation, what the interpretation is saying, it says that exactly what I'm saying. That if there is somebody who don't believe in Allah because they refuse of Islam, because they refuse Allah, then they cannot be your friends. But you like you you just saying like, if you're not believing, but maybe is that not it's not there's there's nothing okay, like let us go to the front verse can you open for me chapter 5 verse number 51 chapter 5 verse 51 51 yes from al media mad al okay. 51 okay yeah okay until you read it you know uh, please admin anyone he use a bad language against the muslims block him and ban him not only block him anyone he use a bad language or violent language we don't approve that those are obviously not the christians and they are trying to make us look bad they come with the christian names but they are not christians you please immediately block them okay mr danish go ahead yes hmm. so can you take the christians and the jews as a friends they the like the translation is don't use them as your protectors and i can i can explain it mm. because if there was like a historic uh problem mm. uh, if you understand like in saudi arabia the jews the christians and the muslims live together right mm. back in the days is that right like in mecca all right no in mecca there's no there's no jews there's no christian but anyway. yeah, well, yes of course you can for all the people live you can like see the Jews and the Muslims live together in Mecca. No, there's no, there's no Jews and there's no Christians in Mecca. 
or it was Mecca? like no Mecca was either Quraysh and those those who Muhammad he called them uh, Christians have, they have, are Nasara like Khadija Khadija is not Nasara is not a Christians but anyway what does have to or, do no, okay okay but you cannot take was, them as a protector somebody want to protect you wait wait just just mm. let me let me let me let me finish mm. what was Medina I don't know like it's the first place where Muhammad was revealed to Allah mm. there were the, the uh, uh, Jews and the Christian and Muslim people live together. Hmm. If you not believe me, you can search it up. And what Muhammad did to them later? He killed them. Okay, let me just let me just say you something, hmm. okay? okay? And they were like, um, uh, they were like living together, okay? Hmm. Okay. And there were no harm to each other. They were just in love, right? Like that's not a, in love, but they that's live, not true. That's not live true. Side that's side, not true. Okay? That's not true. That's okay, not true. Just let, just let me finish, okay? Hmm. Hmm. If it's not true, okay. Hmm. But after that, there was like other people, like other uh, barbarians that attack like uh, mecca you know mm. and they were like and they but had you just like, said he is now in medina he is not in mecca he's in medina now okay in medina but it was like they had an agreement like the mm. jews and the muslims to um mm. fight against other people mm. who try to invade medina mm. okay okay and okay my friend my friend, my friend my friend my friend my friend if somebody, no, 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 wait. okay, no, 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 let's make it short because you are going to tell me stories minute, and, minute, and obviously minute, you do no. not know what are you talking about. Let me ask you, let me ask you, where you are giving the explanation for this verse? Can you tell me, please? So we can open the book together. This, and read this, together. Is, this is this is the hadith, it's like a story. Okay, my friend, this is the hadith in front of you. I will put it for you. It says, Muhammad, he says, if I be victorious, I am going to expel all the Christians and the Jews from Jazeera al Arab, from the Arabian Peninsula. So, what do you mean? Muhammad, all yeah. the Christians are bad, all the Jews are bad. Okay, oh, but let us like... say, let us say, let us say, some Christians they are bad, some Jews are bad. Why Muhammad want to expel all the Jews and the Christians? And right now we have zero Christians, zero Jews in Saudi yeah, but... Arabia. Listen, hmm. you don't understand. You you see it like on black and white, but there is a historic context. My friend, behind... Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Show me the historic <laughs> context so we can laugh together. The verse in the front of you, chapter 5, verse number 51. Which interpretation you like me okay, to show you in the front of everybody so we can understand the historic background? I, the only thing is, like, I don't have, like, all the, 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 the stories I heard. No, 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 no. You just say it, my friend. You see, let us speak as adults. We are not kids. Yeah, okay. You, but just, if you like... just say it. You just say it. Historic. Okay. I can search it up. I can search it no, up. No, no, no. You do not need to search like, it. Where, where, where are you yourself? Where you learned from? Give me the name. I will find it right away. Where do you learn it from? This historic things about Islam, you got it from where exactly? The, the, the story is about like they had an agreement and the, no problem. And where do you get this historic from? Which book? I I, I heard it in the in the mosque and the okay. Show. You heard it in the mosque. Okay, let me let me ask you. We are talking about a verse in the Quran. It's called chapter five, verse fifty-one. So you, as a Muslim, if you want to explain this verse to somebody, what do you do? If I if I just I can I can, I will search up the story. Hmm. And they say, why do why don't you take the Jew and the Christians as as protectors? Is because they had like the agreement. Okay, where do you search the story? Where do you find it? 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 Where you find it? you can find it on the internet, whatever you want. Okay, here we go. You the internet in front of me. What do you want? Just as you say, like there. there okay, was no give me Jews. give me a book. Yeah, give me a book, my friend. My friend, give me a book. Yeah. You you accept which book you accept? I believe, I believe like uh, in the Quran. I know you believe in the Quran. Which book you told me to explain the verse? You have to go to a book. Which book you read? Which, which book, book I inter give interpretation for the Quran you accept? Which one? Like a lot. Like the, the highest. One. Like what? Like uh, I I read like on the app, you know, like most the My friend, my friend, what's wrong? What's wrong? Relax, relax, relax. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. What is the book you read? I'm, I'm, to explain good. the Quran for you. Who is your scholar? The one who explained this verse for us, and I will open it and we will read together. Okay. Very simple. Have, like, I love, I love the, the, the like the hadith from uh, Sahih International. I don't know if you know that. There's nothing that's called Sahih International. What is that? You mean Sahih Bukhari? No, Sahih International. Sahih International is a trans translation. It's not a scholar. It's not, it's not a, this is not a guy. This is a translation. Who is the scholar who explained the Quran for you? 
Let us see Naman Ali Khan like for for my like, friend. This is a translator. This is a translator. He is not a scholar. He is not even a sheikh. He is a yes. translator. Okay, I'm asking you, which book will inter, will try will explain this verse for us? Not translate. Which verse? Which scholar? You know, Ibn Kathir, Al Qutbi, Al Jalalain. There's a scholars who are very well known. Which one? Huh? I'm just saying you like Naman Ali Khan does also tafsir. My friend, about... this guy is no yeah. one. Who is no man? We have a scholars. This, who is this guy? This guy is still alive until now, like me. So we we. Naman Ali Khan is like okay. A really high. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you, Naman Ali Khan. Let me ask you. Yeah. Do Naman Khan is the one you trust for tafsir? No, I like to like I, I like to uh, receive it from a lot oh of people. Oh boy! I mean, look, so what I would do with you because I want to see what you are, what what this guy he said to you, so we can love together because of them. All of them agree. All those who they are Muslims agree that this is you cannot take a Christians and Jews as a friends. Okay, but but uh, I'm. Okay, but let let this let these things all put aside. Like no, we thing. cannot let it out. You see, you are trying to let it out because this will expose the cult of Islam and will show that you are wrong. You said you have a friends; they are Christians, and the Quran says that the one who take them as a friends, he is one of them. The no, one who take them as a friend, he is one of them. He is unjust, and he is one of them. He will go to hell. So by taking us as a friends, you are not one of the Muslims. You are one of us. The Quran says that in front of you. No, 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 no. Okay, I, you say to me, okay, there's a book, it's called Asbab al Nuzul. Do you, okay, have you heard about it? Okay. Let me say just something. Yeah? I believe in God, right? I mm. believe in God, just mm. like you. Mm. And I believe in all his prophets. And I believe that the last prophet is like Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah. And if, and if, and if I go to hell because I, I love my people who, or next to me, even if they're Christian, even if they're Jew or whatever, I don't care. You know, hmm. I just, I just respect the people. That's what I get taught in my masjid. Well, this right? is no, this is this is false teaching, and this is not Islam. I don't know who this, is your masjid. This, your masjid, is, you your masjid is shish kebab. Okay, because because the prophet he says in the Quran chapter wait, wait, wait. nine. Okay, let me ask wait, wait. you. Did, did the Quran okay. says that you, you have? Say, okay, listen, wait, listen, wait. listen. Are you saying your prophet is a liar? Of course not. Of okay. course he's not. Did your prophet say if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, you have to humiliate him and you have to force him to walk in the sewage? Yeah, but did you know why? Why you can you can search it up like the tefsir from? I that, search it up. I search it up. We know they are <laughs> because they are okay. a Christian. Because they are a Christians. No. Okay. Did, did he say any reason except? They are, did he say? Did he say any any reason except they are Christians? Okay, like okay. I, I want you to read for me, no, my friend. My friend, can, can you read? Can, can you read, can you read the hadith in the front of you? This is your prophet talking. I don't have like all the books in front of me. Like I have, have it in the front of you here in the screen. Read it. I can send you the link. Yes, send me the link. Okay, here we go. You're a prophet saying if you meet the Christians and the Jews, don't greet them, and if you see any of them in the street, force them to the sewage. Okay, but can I can I like uh, while you're sending me the link? I'm just saying I'm praying okay. five times a week. I go like a lot of times to the masjid. I don't care, I my friend. This is your, this is your story. This is your story. And I hear I judge it's done by Muhammad, not by you. Maybe you are a person. Maybe, maybe 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 your your sheikh is a shish kebab sheikh. He is not true Muslim. Maybe your mosque, maybe Ahmadi. I don't know who they are. But this is Islam. I, in the front of you, I have Muhammad. I don't judge you. I don't judge Islam by you. I judge Islam by Muhammad. Are you against that? Yeah. Okay. I so Muhammad says, Muhammad he says, yeah. don't don't greet the Jews and the Christians. So the Jews, the Christian, they have to greet you first because they are humiliated. They are not equal to you. And if you see any of them in the street, you have to humiliate them. You have to force them to walk in the narrow alley, which is the sewage. And this is very authentic. Okay. Let us say. I don't I am just a Jew it says don't don't the, the Jews any Jew any Jew the Christians any Christian he, he didn't say this guy his name is a Christian Prince do that to him no the Jews and the Christians if you meet any of them do this to them you said to me you have many friends who they are Christians but according to your prophet if you have a, if you see a Christian first of all you don't greet them secondly you have to push them in the sewage okay but you say that right what you say this but why why does like uh 
the Prophet also have a lot of stories and hadith that that he's just like very kind to Christians. Where? Well, this is this is funny. Where? Here we go. This is Muhammad. Muhammad, you see, you see, you you, you Muslims are very confused people. I feel sorry for you, because Muhammad he have stages in his life. When Muhammad was weak, he was even friendly with the with the Quraysh. He, yeah. He, he, yeah, he don't dare to debate them. He don't dare to agree with them. Even they insult him, he leave. But because he was weak, but when he got an army, the story is different. He ordered the Christian, he ordered the Muslims to go and kill every single Christian and Jew unless they pay him money. Chapter nine, verse number twenty-nine. Yeah, but it's it was like when the when the Muslims, yeah, they came up, they get killed by the Christians, they get killed by the Jews. Okay, hold on. I have a challenge for you. Name for me the Christians who killed your prophet army. No, not my prophet. Like when people no 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 don't, don't give me speech. You said historical. Okay, name for me the Christians who attack your prophet and they killed him. Who? But you don't understand. You're trying. No, to I understand. I understand. You said they are killing. Okay, tell me who is the Christians who attack your prophet? It's your prophet who sent the three letters. Yeah, but like the three kings. How how can and there are three there are three kings and two of them they are Christians saying to them convert to Islam or die. Is that correct yeah. or no? No, but, oh, you, you're like okay. So hold on. No, you hey, said no. Here we go. We will show the reference. No, no, no. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying? What, what is your point? It's like my point is that you are trying to hide the truth. Your prophet, he is the one is attacking others. No, I'm not, I'm Nobody not attack to, I, him. Aslim, Aslam. If you want to be safe, huh? Read carefully. Who is the one who sent someone to hit, to 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 the to the king of I the Romans? Try to hide anything, my friend. This is your book. Who is the one I, who sent? Who, who is the one who sent a letter seeing, to the Byzantine emperor, em, 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 emperor saying to him, Convert to Islam or die? Who is the one who did that? I'm just saying, I'm practicing Islam. I don't care. Don't, don't give me don't give me this garbage. You are not practicing anything. You are a liar. Just to, to you, because I'm showing you what your prophet did, and you say to me, I'm practicing Islam. Yeah, but you, but you listen, listen. You, did your you prophet in the front of your eyes? Did your prophet send a letter to the king of the Roman who never attacked Muhammad, never spoke to Muhammad, never met Muhammad? Did he send him a letter says convert to Islam or die? Yes or no? You're screaming like you're because I'm losing my patience with your hypocrisy. Either you say yes or you say no. Did he send a letter to the king of the Roman who never attacked Muhammad, never have any business with Muhammad? Did he send him a letter says convert to Islam and you will be safe? Yes or no? You know, take it easy, man. I'm just saying. No, I don't take it easy. I don't take it easy with liars. You don't dare to say yes or no. Either say yes or no. No, I don't understand. I don't hear. Get... Just go. Coward liar. No, don't call me. I'm not here to waste my time screaming with kids. I'm showing it to you in the screen. I gave you the link. I call you to Islam. If you became a Muslim, you will be safe. Does it say, guys? Safe from who? This guy is an emperor. An emperor looking for safety? Aslam to Aslam. And if you don't convert to Islam, you have to pay me jizya. So what they try to do, they try to avoid reading their books. And they try to give me his own version. I am a Muslim. I practice Islam. I go to the mosque five times a day, five times a week. And I don't uh, hate the Christian. I don't care who you are. Okay, maybe you are a good person. This is not Islam. Islam forbid you from taking even your father and your brother as a friends. If they aren't Muslims. Chapter 9, verse 23. Why you lie? And you say to me why you are screaming? You ha I have to scream. Because you think by deception, you can fool us. It doesn't work with me, not, not with me. You see, everything I say, I put it in the screen in a second. So you say to me, I don't hate, okay, good. I, I'm happy that you don't hate the Christians. That's wonderful. It says that this is for a specific. That's not true. There's nothing called a specific. Here we go. This is specific here. What's specific? 
when Muhammad he says don't respect okay hold on hold on just to show how people they, they try to fool us I'm going to go to the book of Ibn Kathir is Ibn Kathir he's a Christian prince he worked for him let us see what Ibn Kathir is saying is that only for a certain time people no or this is for every Christian every Jew every one we will find out in a second all right here we go this is the Islamic website which is owned by the Dean show hmm? a very well-known Islamic website and this is the very well-known famous Muslim scholar Ibn Kathir all right okay. whatever he say we will take it this is Ibn Kathir let us see how they lie to us and they say oh this is for a specific oh this is not for everybody this is for those no it's, it's a lie all who you believe verily the mushrikeen are impure all of them they are not filthy it doesn't matter who they are and until now after 1400 years you have a sign in the highway of saudi arabia says non-muslims are not allowed muslims only let me show it in the screen you see how they lie they say to you this is for a specific time this is not for now yeah? <laughs> that was for a specific time brother that was for a specific time brother do you see it this is is that sign made in the time of your prophet or now when this sign is made in the time of your prophet they have a highway it says Muslims only Christians only or because they are dirty filthy they are not allowed to take this highway they claim that South Africa was a racist regime and yes it was and they separate between the black and white and yes they did and this is a very ugly regime and this is absolutely true but Muhammad he do the same force them to the most narrow LA take different road wait this is for the Muslims it's in front of you do you see it why because the Quran says that we are nudges we are filthy and we are the key the, the translation says here any pure what impure what does that mean what impure mean filthy you people are filthy that's what the Quran is saying Christians Jews you are filthy Hindus Buddhas atheists so they are not allowed to get a close and not only that Muhammad he found a solution to make the Muslim rich if you fear poverty okay if you fear poverty what we would do go and kill the Christians it's in front of you Allah will find a solution right away he says after it go and attack the Christians and take their money and feel themselves subdued the ayah means The ayah is mean, mean what? The people of the book, they have to pay jizya. This is how we make you. Don't fear poverty. You will be rich. We will rich you. We will force the Christians and the Jews to walk like donkeys and we pay you money to live. Do you see it? This guy, he said, oh, he was fighting people who they are fighting him. That's a lie. Read fight against those who don't believe in Allah don't what don't believe in Allah not those who are fighting you just because they don't believe in Allah until they pay the jizya and they have to be humiliated therefore the people of the scriptures disbelieve in Muhammad they had no beneficial faith in any messenger or what messenger brought rather they followed their religion because this is confirmed with their ideas lost and their way etc not because they are allah uh, law and religion and they had not been true believers in their religion that faith would be directed them to believe in muhammad because all the prophet gave good news of muhammad I thought, come on so because of that what because of that we fight them and we kill them Read carefully. Fight against those who don't believe in Allah nor the last day. Huh? 
from those who don't acknowledge the religion of the truth, which is me, Islam. Just because you refuse as a Christian to believe in Islam, we will fight you. This is an honorable ayah was revealed in order to fight the people of the book after the pagan were defeated. You see, Muhammad was fighting with the pagan and now he became strong. The people entered into Allah religion with large numbers. So now Muhammad, he have a big army. And the Arabian Peninsula was secured under Muslim control. No Muslims, no Muslim under any oppression. He, they are the one controlling. So why you want to attack the Christians? Allah Messenger commanded to fight the people of the Scriptures, Jews and Christians, in the ninth years of Hijrah. He prepared his army to fight the Romans. The Romans did not attack him. Do you see it? It's not the Roman who sent their army. Muhammad, he prepared his army. And he sent it to kill the Christians and the Jews. And what Muhammad he want? What he demand? He want money. Read carefully. Until they pay the jizya. The Muslim, they lie to us and they say the jizya is tax. Read carefully. Jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. Tax is everybody paying. It's not disgrace. The president pay tax. This is not tax. It's a jizya, which is a sign of kufr and disgrace, humiliation. Until they pay the jizya, if they don't choose to embrace Islam. So the jizya was a penalty, if you like to live, either pay or die. And here it says, read carefully, and feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated. Just because you don't believe in Islam, yes. But this guy, he was calling me, I go to the mosque five times a day, and then I love the Christians. Okay, so thank you. But this is not Islam. So why the Muslims, they have to fight the Christians because they don't believe. I read carefully. Therefore, Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhimma. Who is the people of the Dhimma? Christian and Jews. Or elevate them above Muslims. Huh? Yeah, you cannot elevate me and you cannot honor me. For they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. Muslim recorded from, the, from Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians. And if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the narrowest alley. Do you see it? The guy, he said, this is for a special circumstance. Oh, here we go. This is the circumstances. Because you cannot elevate the Christians. You cannot respect them. You cannot respect the Jews. You have to humiliate them. And look what he says. This is why the leader, the faithful, Amr al-Khattab, the caliphate, who became a caliphate later, may Allah pleased with him. Demand with his known condition to be met by the Christian those conditions to ensure the continue of humiliation and disgrace Do you see it? You see why I hang up on you? Go tell me tell your story so somebody is a fool. I spend my life studying this cult Those this line I love the Christian love the Jews. This is work for somebody else, you know, okay? And maybe you are honest, maybe you don't, maybe you love them, I don't know. But this is not Islam. This is not Islam. We don't allow lies to go through. We don't. You allow it, this is your business. Right? So here you see that Islam is a business. Oh, Muhammad, look, Muhammad, you have no problem with the Christians worship Jesus if they pay him money. Do you see it? What is the condition to believe, to stay alive as a Christian who believe in the wrong God, supposedly? Just pay Muhammad money. And this is a clear evidence that Muhammad is not faithful to, to his own God. This is why he says that Allah told him, because after he forbid people to come to Mecca, uh, he, there's no money. The money became no business. So look what he says. Allah will enrich you. Allah will what? Will make you rich. How? How, how this will happen? Attack the Christians. Attack the Jews. And take their money. They pay judges. Yeah, you live. 
and this is why Muhammad he sent an army all the way to Tabuk and the funny is how come Allah did not support Muhammad in his attack on Tabuk he went back and his hands is empty and not only that Muhammad he said before the attack of Tabuk he said to one of his men attack the blonde people so you can get the blonde girls what is that true or Christian Prince is making things up <laughs> have you ever heard of a prophet saying to his followers attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls let me find you the reference He used money, he used sex to seduce his men to go and fight. Uh, let us see. A prophet of God saying, Go attack them so you can get a blondie girls. That's God, and this is a prophet. All right. This is the same chapter. The website was frozen. Took time to open. Chapter 9, verse number 49. And let us see what it's meant. Maybe Christian Prince is making things up. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And because of it in English, I'm showing you this. And you know what? Let me let me go to the to the Arabic one first. Give me a second. <clears throat> That is God. Here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And look what it says. A man he said to him, What Muhammad he said, Attack, you will win the blonde girls. He meant the Roman women. And you know what? Let me use Google uh, browser so we can. Uh, use Google Translation. I'm using here uh, Firefox because Google Translation doesn't work with Firefox. All right, here we go. I will do Google Translation in front of you. This is Google Translation. I have nothing to do with me. As you see, 
This is the Muslim website. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of, 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 of Saudi Arabia, the Ministry of Islam. Translation. Where is translation? Where is option to translate to English? Okay, here we go. All right. Let us see what the Prophet Google, peace upon him, will translate to us. This is the verse from the beginning. Uh, don't seduce me by women. Okay. Muhammad seducing people by women and Muhammad accusing the man who refused to be seduced by women, blonde girls, he is a hypocrite. Look at this. Uh, the Messenger of Allah said, Attack, invade, and you will win the daughters of the yellow. This is a translation of Google. In Arabic, it says, actually, it says yellow. It's correct. Uh, 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 attack the the Roman. You will get the daughters of the yellow, which means the blonde. They call them yellow. Do you see it? Who is the one who said that? The messenger of Allah the jihad was for the women the blondie women was not for the sake of Allah do you see it this is the jihad and this is the reference in Arabic you can use your Google translation if you wish He is not attacking for the sake of Allah. Go and get their money and their women. Blondie girls, he's seducing them. One of the men, he said to him, why are you are seducing us by women? Muhammad, he called him hypocrite. And I challenge any Muslim to say Christian Prince is lying. And here we go, the website in the front of you. And here, this is the Arabic version of it. Irzu, Irzu, invade. You will win the daughters of the yellow. He meant the women of the Roman. That is Muhammad. A man, he said to him, Don't seduce me. A man said that, said that to Muhammad. Yes. Don't seduce me by women. Muhammad accused the man who said, don't seduce us by women he said to him you are a hypocrite read even in the google stupid google translation saying that read the man he said to him excuse me don't theft in me the translation is funny don't seduce me Don't tell us to invoke the book so we can go, so we can sleep with the daughters of the yellow. This is a prophet of God. Who is a Muslim will say to me, you are a liar and I can't prove it. And it doesn't say that. Anyone? <laughs> That's your prophet, the one you are proud about. So, Mr. Danish, you have a lot of blondie girls there. According to your religion, attack your neighbor so you can get the blondie girls. This is your prophet. And this is the reason to attack the Roman, to reach the Muslims by taking slaves, having sex with women, and to make their money, to take their money. Am I wrong? Did I lie?
the guy who said to him don't seduce us by women he said they call him hypocrite the Muslim they call this guy hypocrite why because he said to them don't don't seduce us by women and look one of, one of the Muslims says to him wouldn't you like to have some source of a slave women Byzantine don't you want to have computer women for sex from a servant Look, look at the conversation. This is, those are the founder of Islam. Don't you like, what's wrong with you? Don't you like to have a blonde woman? This is a religion of God. If this is a religion of God, what is the religion of Satan? The prophet is not fighting for the sake of his God, he's fighting for the blonde girls. And because the Arab and I am an Arab, they have an obsession with the white women. Muhammad he promised them the Hur. Why the whole promise made? Because he knew the Arab what they like. They like women, they are so white. He's, this is why he's seducing them to attack the Roman. This is your dream. Finally, you will have a blonde woman with a blonde hair. She's very white. And look, he promised them that even Allah will produce in the heaven for them. He have a manufacturer to make women. And those women, they are going to be the kind you can see the marrow of their bones. They are transparent. And this Abdul who keeps saying to me, open this and open that, I will block you. I have a topic you keep saying to me, open this and open that. Open Matthew, open etc. What does it have to do with our topic? What is this? You are questioning if Jesus is God. You know what? By question if Jesus is God or not, you just to prove to us that he must be God or he must be too, too good to the point people they think he is God. We are questioning if Muhammad can be even uh, working in the post office. We are not questioning if Muhammad is a prophet or not. We are questioning how much legitimate he is to be even to, to trust him with, with a one, one pound. With little girl, a man who married a six years old girl. So while the Muslims, they are questioning if Jesus can be God or not because he's so good. So good. That's why he said to the Jews, if one of you can show me my sin, show me, go ahead. Who of you can accuse me of sin? So while we are talking about Jesus as being God or not, we are talking about Muhammad, the sick man. Even Muhammad, he encouraged his men to have sexual relationship with the children. He met a man who is lying like he's, he's, a, he's in a rush to go to his house. He was actually with him in attack. They are, they are both are thieves. So he, tell, he said to him, hey, uh, Jabir, why are you going fast to home? What's wrong? He said, well, I am newly married. The prophet, he said, ah, did you marry a young girl or an old woman, older woman? The guy, he said, a widow. The prophet says, why you don't marry a young girl? So she can play with you and you can play with her. Do you see the ethic? Do you see the ethic? The guy is happily married. What's your business? He is questioning the decision of a man who already married. He married a widow. What's wrong with marrying a widow? Muhammad himself, he married all the widows. But obviously, Muhammad, as Muslim, they say themselves, he married them for political reason. He used them. 
no, Allah cannot support him. He, he needs Khadija, who married two husbands before him. She's rich. But Muhammad, he liked the young girls, like Aisha, six years old. So here he's asking the guy, why you marry any widow? What's wrong with you? Don't you want to play with her? I mean, what kind of a husband, what kind of marriage this marriage is? The guy, he marry a young girl so he can play with her? We marry six years old to play with her? What exactly? This guy is mentally sick. This guy, he is mentally sick. He want to marry a child so he will play with her. Is that my words? It's your prophet. Is that Sahih? This is a Bukhari. What is that? So, my friend, we are not debating about if Jesus is God or not. Jesus, he proved himself by what he did. And nobody can question what he did. He is so good. And your prophet is so ugly. So disgusting. Here, not only is he encouraging to have sex with the children, here he is playing the devil to divide a man from his wife. Okay, the man is happy with his wife. What's your business? What do you think if you are Jabber now? And Muhammad saying to you, why well, you don't marry a child? You know, the guy he will say, okay, what if you accept the idea of Muhammad? And look, the man, he is more wise than Muhammad. He said to him, oh, my brother, he died. And he left many girls. No, I'm not going. I'm, I married a lady so she can take care of them. I cannot marry a child like them. Muhammad is asking him to marry a child. I dislike marrying a girl like them. Do you see it? People, do you see it? My brother, he died and he left, me, he left for me many orphans. I dislike to marry a girl like them. Like who? Like the orphans. Who are the orphans? Our children. That's why we call them orphans. How this is can be a prophet of God? So my friend, this is why we follow Jesus. How you can leave Jesus and you follow a man like this? Where is the ethic? This is the ethic of the devil. This is the ethic of the devil. And you see the reasoning exposing something about the personality of Muhammad. He is not saying to him, like, he's not giving a good reason. The, the only reason is just to play with her. Look, look at this. It's not like because she is a smarter. No, 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 just to play with her. The purpose of all this, uh, this drama is he want to destroy the marriage of this man just because he want him to have fun with the little girl. You play with her. You can, you can come to daddy. And I will tell you why sick men, they like to have children to abuse them because it's very easy to control. She's a child. Very easy. You scream at her, she cry. Sit down, she sit down. Take off your clothes, she take off her. She's scared, she will beat her. She's a child, she, can, she have no mouth. In the best scenario, she cry. This is a kind of mental illness. And those people, we arrest them in USA. A mature man, if he want to have a relationship, he will think of a mature woman. So they can talk, they can discuss. And even she have a physical body of a woman.
please guys be nice to Muslims don't insult we are talking about Islam I don't like to see anyone insulting Muslims here the topic is Islam not no Muslims Muhammad Quran Allah said this is that's it please don't talk about Muslims neither Christians neither Muslims are perfect all of us we are sinners but Islam is absolutely crazy religion false cult I am not against the Muslim as you see here we go today we have Muhammad Iqbal he left Islam and he, he him and his five member of his family so if we are going to curse them if we are going to call them names you know if somebody is a liar I'll call him liar no problem this is not call, this is not a name calling he's a liar he's lying correct this is not name calling if somebody says something stupid he's stupid if you walk like a duck you talk like a duck people will call you a duck but we focus in the topic and the person who is the founder of Islam you see for a long time people they speak about uh, Osama bin Laden who is Osama bin Laden Maybe Osama bin Laden is bad, but Muhammad is not. Why you want to attack? Islam is not Osama bin Laden. Islam is Muhammad. And he, this is Muhammad. Muhammad is one billion times more worse than Osama bin Laden. Don't judge Islam by Osama bin Laden. Judge Islam by Muhammad. Judge Christianity by Jesus. Not by Christian Prince. Maybe Christian Prince is a bad person. Maybe he's a liar. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe he's a drug dealer. But you cannot judge Christ by me. I am not the one who people follow his teaching. I am not a prophet. I am not God. I am not even a priest. I'm no one. Nobody. I am less than an insect in the front of my Lord. So if you want to judge if Jesus is God or not, go and read what Jesus said. You will see how amazing he is. Go and see what Jesus did. You will see how astonishing what he did. Compare between the wisdom of the Lord, the Messiah, and what you see in the front of you. We cannot compare. This is an insult to my Lord. It's not Jesus eating food will make him God or not. It is Jesus who is holy that make him God. It is Jesus who have an ethic nobody have. It is Jesus who can do what nobody can do. Resurrecting people from death, making the blind see, controlling the nature. Even the Quran says he created from the mother bird. He can tell you even what you had in your house. And even according to Islam, Jesus is right now in heaven listening to us. How Jesus is just a man, but he is alive for thousands of years. Jesus cannot be born and he cannot be God in the same time, the Muslim says. But how he can be born without a father, they can't explain. So how come the birth is a problem when you want and the birth is not a problem when you want? And why Jesus doesn't have a father? What is the purpose of that? God don't do things for no reason. And if they, the Muslim, they want to say to us, Jesus have no father because God want to show a miracle, that would be a funny miracle. I will tell you why. Because my mother now, she can claim that she never met a man who is going to prove her wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? This miracle cannot be proven. There is no way to prove it. So what's the purpose of it? This miracle has a reason, and the only only way to explain it is what the Christian believe. The Islamic miracle is, is a shish kebab. Women, she have no man, and God made her have a son. Why? I mean, what's the problem? If she have a man, what's the problem? He can't be a prophet unless you have... You know, what is that? And you are asking why the Christian, they believe Jesus is God? So why Allah in the Quran says that Mary, she is a virgin, and Jesus have no son, no father? Who is the father of Jesus? 
Who is my father? The one who made my mother have me. Who is that? My dad. Okay. We ask the Muslim, who is the one who made Mary have Jesus? They say, Allah. Okay, that's mean that according to you, this is his this is his father. <laughs> so, you know, we are talking about silly logic, does not match anything, and their logic is against their own logic. Because this is a religion which is irrational, illogical, in it not and true, full of lies, full of fornication, full of, of 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 mad crazy stuff, seducing men to do wrong just for the sake of sex. Go attack the neighbors, go attack your country, go just to go and go do war just to get women and, and boys, and, and even heaven is disgusting. Even in the heaven of Allah is the land of slavery. 80,000 little boys will be enslaved as a lowest reward for every Muslim. 80,000. What kind of God he will make? He will give me 80,000 boy. And where those boys are coming from? And I can't be happy in heaven unless I have thousands of little children being my slaves what is what kind of joy this joy this is sick child abuse in heaven for eternity at least on earth you are a slave by somebody he humiliate you until you die in heaven no that's it Eighty thousand. do you see the number i'm not making things up and this is the lowest in the heaven which means this is the bad muslim the good muslim how much will have 80 million this is the lowest in the heaven of Allah. You can read my books if you like to learn more. We have tons of reference about sex and Allah. This is the name of the book. And you can find it in Amazon. Anyway, guys, I, I think we have enough for today. And... Uh, we are glad that we see every day more people leaving the cult of Islam. And trust me, Muslims, we love you. We will never hate you. And if I get angry, if I get upset, because I say to myself, how in the world somebody can be blind like that? I mean, today you are lucky. You have the technology, you have the internet. I show you before in order to show you this reference, I have to be, have a big library here to open the book. Each time I want to find the hadith, I have like to spend maybe 20 minutes to find it. If I have all the books. Just to find the book, actually, from the shelves is going to take you maybe a half hour. Today we are lucky. We put it right away in front of you on the screen. This is a blessing from the Lord. And the blessing of the Lord is giving us tools. And the funny and the amazing is that those tools are published, printed by the Muslims. Isn't it amazing? This, web, this website is a Muslim website. Before, when I used to teach about Islam, I have to go and use Arabic, and I translate my own. And the Muslim, they say, he's lying. doesn't say that. He's lying. Yeah. So they publish those supposedly to make us accept Islam. But what they published make us see how ugly Islam is. I hope Muhammad and you and your wife, you left Islam already. And I hope you will, you will decide, you will make a good decision for you and your family. And you see, as you see, you see, if you don't love Muslims, if you speak to them with a tone of hate, then they will take it like you are rejecting them. We don't reject the Muslims. There are people like us. Many good people between them. Wonderful people. They cry as we cry. They get sad as we get sad. They get hurt as we get hurt. We don't hate them. 
They need your help. Not your hate. And absolutely, we are here fighting hate, actually. The whole purpose of this is to fight hate. As Jesus said, love your enemy, plus those who curse you. Jesus, actually, he made me accept him as God by being the first to follow what he say. In the cross, he says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. He was not hypocrite. Muhammad, he said to his men, don't have sex with your wives when they have their menstruation. But Muhammad, he used to do, fondle his wives when they have menstruation. Don't get close to your wife, the Quran says, when they have menstruation. But Muhammad was doing it. One of the signs of false prophets, false teachers, is hypocrisy. They say something, they do something. You don't find that with the Messiah. A man, he have tons of women in his house. Why he's ordering his wife, when she have her menstruation, to round himself with a sheet so he can play with his private part with her? What is that? What is that? Yet in the Quran, he says to the Muslims, stay away from the women when they have their menstruation. It's a hurt. You see it? Keep away from the women. Does it say that? Or I'm making things up? So, in public, he says, stay away from the women when they have their menstruation. When he go indoor, he order his wife to warp herself with the sheet so he can fondle her. And the word fondle here is not really accurate. It says, in Arabic, it says, yubashiruni, which means you start having sexual act why where is the where is the ethic of uh, stay away from the women when they have their menstruation and remember this guy have many wives it's not like he's a christian guy he have only one wife and now he's so horny like an animal so he cannot hold himself he have many wives this woman have a, a, a period, go to the other woman. No, put your izar, put your sheet around you. Hmm? Hypocrisy, my friend, hypocrisy. Anyway, guys, did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? I hope we did. I apologize if I shout sometime, but you know, I mean, pfft, it make me angry really to see liars lying to me, to see stupidity around me. I cannot, you know, I, I have actually a lot of patience. And the funny, some people, they say to me, uh, uh, you, you, you are losing your patience. Go sit in my place for five minutes and let us see what you will do. We show it in the front of our face and the guy, he, he don't want to read it. He, I don't see it. Uh, let me tell you what, I, 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 don't tell, I don't care who you are. Don't tell me about what you do. We are talking about a prophet. We are talking about scriptures. We are talking about something holy for you. Don't talk about you. This is not about you. This is not about me. Everything we say, I never said something. I did not put it in the screen, did I? Actually, there's many things I never mentioned here because I cannot find it on the internet. Otherwise, I have millions of things to talk about. But the second I mention it, I have to prove it. 
millions what what you heard from a Christian prince about Islam is not even one to a million percent of what he knew about Islam because not everything is in English and not everything is in the internet Someone saying invest study in the Bible so you can bring Muslim. My friend, I don't invest to study in the Bible because the Lord He used me and He gave me answers. I don't really invest studying in the Bible because the Bible do not need really too much of a study. It is something spiritual. It's not it's not a solid words. It is something you feed it, something you live it something you appreciate it and something you can see it even if you are a person who do not hardly can read or write or maybe you do not know how to read how to write not like the quran you need tons of people to interpret it for you and uh, bible is very simple it's a language for every human being a farmer or somebody have a phd go open any chapter of jesus you will see how amazing it is every one of us he will have a spiritual and different way to receive it for this is a miracle of God it's not a solid concrete the Bible says so no the Bible is made for every one of us to be a spiritual guidance we have different shape we have different color we have different eyes with different hair but the Bible fit with all of us the Bible transform you you don't transform the Bible. The Bible will change you. You don't change the Bible. So it doesn't matter who you are. So I don't invest in studying in the Bible. I invest believing in the Bible. For that belief will transform me and will give me the wisdom I speak to you about. Otherwise, who, who is me? A man he speak only of foolishness. My friend, we have the most beautiful, amazing, living word of God, and he himself is the word of God. The Messiah is the living, walking, talking word of God. That is our Lord. This is why you see, even in the Quran, Jesus did not receive messages from a guy, his name is Jibril. Why? Because he is the Word of God. According to the Quran, Jesus, he born as a prophet. He speak in the cradle as a prophet. Muhammad waited 40 years to get a guy to squeeze him and yet Muhammad don't understand he go to the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of his wife and that guy he said to him this is an angel while Jesus the Christ in the cradle he speak wisdom How he can do that? Well, he is the word of God. He is mature by birth. They can't explain to us. Okay, he is just a man, but he's born a second ago and he's talking. And he's talking not, not saying mama, baba. He is talking wisdom, teaching the rabbi. This is your Quran. He's mature. Muhammad, 40 years, and yet he is not mature. He is still after kids to have sexual relationship with them. My friend. Muslims, Christ the Messiah, he loves you. And because he loves you, he invites you to his kingdom. Until his kingdom come. Until your soul is taken from you. You have a chance 
to accept him and to be saved and as you see Muhammad cannot save you he cannot thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and may the Lord forgive us all for the sin we do every day and remember Christians remember Muslims all of us we need salvation all of us we are sinners all of us we do bad and the good of us is ugly compared to the glory of the Lord so don't be proud about who you are be proud about who you follow and the question is can you really be proud following Muhammad I don't think so can I be proud following the Messiah absolutely and this is why the Messiah he said from their fruits you shall know them so you want to know who's Muhammad see his fruits you want to know who is Jesus see his fruits the fruits my friend is going to tell us if Jesus is God or not same as is going to tell us if Muhammad is a prophet or not thank you may the Lord bless you and I will see you soon again don't forget to download the video Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you bye bye Thank you.